everybody, and welcome to Bugbear's Basement. I am Chester C. Buzzbeer III, or Bugbear if you prefer, and I am very, very happy to have all of you here with us, even the panel members, very much so. Now, I know that uh, many of you here are faces we see all the time, but uh, we have been getting new faces every now and then. Uh, I'd say every day or every other day, I've seen new faces, and that's really cool. Um, so thank you all for being part of that. And, of course, for the new faces, uh, keep in mind of all those links we have down below. Uh, the Facebook uh, page there for Fanspeak. We definitely want you to come, become a part of that and grow. Uh, we've actually got our Facebook page almost as big as Mike Miller's. Whew. Goodness gracious. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, of course, we also have the links down to uh, my Facebook and my Twitter, which you can get in touch with me to be on this show. Uh, or if you want to be on the fan edition of Drawn and Quartered, uh, which this week is going to be a very special one. We're going to be having uh, uh, all the artists from Tales from Beyond the Gate are going to be on, and they're going to be uh, uh, displaying their work and stuff so you can see uh, what's going to be coming into the book. And, of course, that is launch day, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, but uh, as for now, I want to welcome the chat. And, of course, I want to welcome my panel. Uh, now, joining us today, we have uh, Todd Melrooney, the creator of Ignition, and an artist on multiple projects uh, with uh, in Tales from Beyond the Gate, and also the winner of John Malin's contest for Graveyard Shift. How you doing, Todd? I'm doing really well. Um, I was away for the weekend, but I'm back now. I got back in last night, so uh, I'll be back. Cool. Was it a su uh, successful trip for you? Oh, yeah. Um, not many people know that I'm a, a, a Yoni massage guru, and I had to go out of town for a client. I don't know anything you just said, but oh, rock on, dude. Um, <laughs> Beowulf is here. He says, hail and well met. You know, Beowulf... <laughs> Uh, you are still part of the Fanspeed group, dude. You can go jump on if you'd like, man. Uh, I know you have the access to the link, so if you want to come in, come on in. Uh, but you, right. you don't have to, though. You don't, you don't have to, but we'd love yeah. to have you. Yes, for sure. You, uh, you don't need to come onto the panel and prove to uh, the audience that your voice is sexier than mine. That will, uh, you, you don't have to do it. Everyone knows. Just don't embarrass me again. <laughs> he needs to he needs to come on so I can feed him lines so everybody can think he's me. I want him to literally be my voice actor. Oh, there you go. <laughs> my real life yeah. voice actor. He's going to play the movie based on you, Fundara, of your of your struggles. I love it. I love everything mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got uh, Ray Esker say guys in here. He says, "What's up, Jester?" I say, "What's up to you, sir?" I got Joshua Hughes in here as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see we have other people as well. Uh, feel free to jump into the chat and say hi, guys, or give comments. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, we shall move from the oily guru onto the oily bird. Hi, do booster. It's me. I'm I'm a bird. Okay, um, and uh, you had some uh, adventures today. The the wee bird had uh, the adventures of Booster. T tell us a little bit about it. Oh yeah, just these dickheads at Waddies just made me walk all over <laughs> bloody town to try and get a job. Ding, and, ding, brother. All right. Yeah, and uh, and I still uh, don't have it because they're idiots, not me. I'm I'm sure you hold zero responsibility. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, of course, we are also mm -hmm. joined by uh, uh, Bill from Argos Creations, who is doing uh, uh, some work up here for the Tales from Beyond the Gate. Uh, how you doing, Bill? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on, Chester. Oh, I always, dude, always. It's uh, And this is a really nice-looking piece you got working on here for uh, Manticore. I'm very, very, very excited about that. And uh, we'll be able to see Bill doing work here during the show, and that's always fun to see some art uh, being laid down. Uh, so uh, good on you with that, man. Uh, Beowulf Thank seems you. to want to continue his comments here, and he says, uh, I'll be back soon, lads, just finishing this study up, and got a sick boy home from school today. Oh, okay, no, no, we understand, dude. Uh, we get uh, that the done. 60 boys man always have excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I, Chester makes no excuses. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> yeah. like, but he just uh, thunder he he misses so many of those sideways uh uh glances doesn't he, he does. yeah but you also missed mine because i just um, i just implied your voice isn't sexy that was yes, the uh, that was that, my but i was ignoring yeah. you which is another sideways glance at you so, <laughs> yeah. uh yeah. keep but this is obviously uh, untrue booster so he had to just like, pretend you didn't even say it. that's true that's oh true. my oh my god <laughs> well, anyway thunder how you doing today man I am wonderful. I'm eating rice. I'm eating shrimp. I'm eating steak. How can you not be in a good mood when all that's happening? This is that's true. It's a good time. Yeah, I just had 
I just had bacon this morning. Just bacon. Mm. Bacon's good mm. though. That just bacon would make this better. I might have to get bacon too. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> now, but you were also. Uh, I was talking to you earlier. You were just you're just coming off playing a game. Uh, what game are you playing? I have been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I like it. It's actually pretty fun. It's not really an Assassin's Creed game, but it's still fun. If you, if you ignore that part and just enjoy the fact that you're in ancient Greece and sailing around on a ship and beating people up, it's great. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like uh, it sounds like people are enjoying it, but uh, possibly it's not as um, uh, Assassin's Creedy as it should be. But I don't know. I don't know if that matters. I think it'll be fine. Uh, but uh, are you guys, the rest of you guys, are uh, into video games or uh, or not? I like Never. video games. I, I'm into video games. I used to play them a lot, <clears throat> but now I just draw and work. I'm pretty boring. Yeah, well, that's I don't get to play as much as I want either. I'm way too busy. But uh, it is what it is, right? Oh, yeah. So... Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you, Thundora, for joining us. And of course, we are joined by the Danelli Lama. Hello, sir. Aloha. How's everybody doing? Doing Except well. Except for doing Booster, good. because Booster doesn't matter. <laughs> matter. <laughs> well, that's <just> mean. <laughs> How are you doing, Kiwi? Well, not good now. You just hurt my feelings. Aw. Good. Aww. Now, uh, EJ Morgs is telling me that, uh, Chester, your audio is always so low and distant. Is this by choice? Uh, no, uh, I don't know. Is everybody else on that kind of issue? Uh, I'm looking at my uh, equalizer over here as I speak, and my volume is equal to everybody else. It should be nice and clean. I can do like this if you like and, uh, and get a little closer. Does that help? Let me know. Creepy. But, uh, you know, um, uh, audio issues and technical difficulties are par, are, are par for the course, right? If we didn't have that, <laughs> would it be fan speak? I mean, come on. Absolutely. We have to seem like mm -hmm. a bunch of idiots. Otherwise, we'd seem too professional. We couldn't be the fans, mm -hmm. could we? See, that's and, and, we'd, and we'd get too big. We'd become too powerful. I know. And I then know. fan speak will need its own version of fan speak where they just talk about us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Plan, plans. Yeah. Booster has plans, everybody. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, yeah, fan fan speak coming soon on the Booster Kiwi channel. Booster, Booster why, why did you say this is a typo? He says, it is stylistic, a stylistic decision. He's meant to sound godly. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, we don't want to go there. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, so let's jump into our first bit of news. And uh, let's start with, uh, the, there are some painful news today. I do apologize. Uh, but uh, let's start with something uh, uh, a little less painful. And uh, also keep in mind, guys, hit the, hitting that share button certainly helps us out a lot. Uh, of course, to subscribe and like, you know, we, of course, we appreciate that as well. But sharing it out is uh, the most useful thing. I see Valen has come in. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. So let's go ahead and get into talking about our, our first story here. Um, and I will share that with our panel here so they can see it as well. You know, might be useful. So, Denali. Okay. Tell us about this. So, X-Men Dark Feet and Test Screening Reaction says it's underwhelming and it's not good. Well. To the surprise of nobody. Yeah, well, this is not the first time we've seen that. It's not the first screen testing we've heard. Uh, this is the third one I think I've heard a story on. And each time it just is the same thing. People don't like it. Um, obviously, they have made some adjustments and uh, have uh, put out another uh, screen testing to uh, to see what, how people thought, and they don't seem very happy about it. Um, it's um, it's kind of unfortunate. I mean, the, that series started out with the final class, right? And I like that. Uh, I like that quite a First bit. First class, yeah. First class, sorry. Um, I like that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah. First yeah, I thought it was right. good. And then you had the second one there where the uh, the uh, future past thing. Um, I thought Days that was of okay. Pass. Days of Future yeah. Pass. Thank you. It had like that one really good Quicksilver scene, and everything else is skippable. Yeah, it's it's okay <laughs> with an amazing Quicksilver thing. Uh, that's true. So it's I, I felt it was less. Some people like it better though, uh, but I thought it was less than the first one. And then the third one, oof, yeah, I, that wasn't oh, good. That wasn't nothing good. about that was good. So I, it's just it's kind of odd for me. Sequels usually aren't as good, but it's weird that this series had gone downhill so quickly. You know. Uh, Nick uh, well, w says hello, everybody. Hello, Nick. Remember, the first one was made by Matt Reeves, and that was his vision of the first class. 
you know, supported by the by Brian Singer and his team. Yeah. Then Matt Reed left to do Kingsman and some of uh, Mark Millar's uh, projects, and Brian Singer came in. So that's why you saw the dip in quality. And now you have the screenwriter, now director Simon Kimber, doing Dark Phoenix, which he wrote. You know, last time he wrote an X Men. <laughs> screenplay um, about the Phoenix was X Men Last Stand. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And that was the X Men movie that that was the one that made me jump. The sh- I was I didn't watch another one after that. It was so bad. I would yeah. rather watch that one all day every day than watch Apocalypse again. Yeah, oh, no. Apocalypse was pretty bad. That's true. They really screwed up. I mean, it was. Uh, it's they it, see the problem with Hollywood is well there are many problems with hollywood uh, but one of the problems <laughs> with hollywood is that they always yeah. want to grab what they think is hot as if it matters mm-hmm. right um but they do that and uh so they jump they jumped on the um the poe dameron guy what's his name exactly I don't know. oscar yeah, exactly. isaac i oscar <laughs> isaac he's such a weirdo watch him in an interview he's a weirdo he's he's bizarre which i don't mind bizarre but he's kind of the eh, bizarre Instead he's of like kind of, kind of the kind fun of a, bizarre of like uh, say Boy George or something, you know. Um, well, Booster. he's kind of weird. He's weird like a polyamorous farm boy. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. and no, even Ezra is actually more more interesting than uh, Isaac. Isaac is creepy. I don't he, like him. Ezra's fun. He he's is just fun. he's just a fun weirdo that I kind of want to punch and bully, but I also want to hang out with him. As weird he's, as Ezra Miller is, he's also a very good actor. Yeah, um, he is, and he's, he's he has charisma, even though he's a complete weirdo. He actually yeah. has charisma. That other guy is a charisma vacuum, in my opinion. Yeah, no, he's he's not good. But because he was in Star Wars, they they threw him in stuff, and he should not have been chosen in Apocalypse. They needed, you know, I don't mind the issue that Apocalypse wasn't huge the whole time. I get it. It's CG. It's expensive. You know, Thanos, you know, we get it. Uh, but you could have show, uh, chosen someone with a uh, uh, imposing character and speech and an mm-hmm. aura. There are many actors who are very good at that. Right, you should have got someone who could have could who, that would have made that important, you know, point one and then point two. Write a good a good story. Give us a purpose for him other than ooh, he was this thing of the past. Ooh, there's destruction. Ooh, he's gone. What what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Lay some groundwork here, right? Uh, but you know, to move on to this movie, which is following up, it's focusing on this girl. That's why I've left it here on her. I can't remember her name, but she was in Game of Thrones. And she was okay in it. Um, I much prefer the, the the little girl. Her story arc was much more interesting. Uh, but um, I just don't know. Her acting is okay, but I just don't know about her as a choice for Jean Grey. And she just um, and one of the problems with her is she's one of those types. Unfortunately, we uh, Celtic peoples, uh, some of uh, some of the uh, genetic uh, uh, strains in us are aged remarkably, like say a Linda Carter. Uh, but uh, some of us don't age very well at all. And her age is hammering her hard, and she's not very old. Uh, it's unfortunate, and uh, but it's really hitting her. And I just, oof, I don't know. I do not know, man. Uh, but um, <laughs> the, they do have some other pictures here. I'll just go through them. You guys give your opinions as I do so. So I guess Jean Grey died again. <sighs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this like poster here. It's It's like... Even that isn't good. Look at it. It's something wrong about it. What's wrong with this artist? We have artists in here. Tell tell me why this is bugging my eyes. Well, the composition on the left is the symmetry's off. Well, the symmetry's off. It's kind of what kind of throws my eye. It's like you have where Mystique is. If you had like Magneto kind of in the same position, or maybe where Logan is. And Logan. And then have it. Logan's hurting it, isn't he? He shouldn't be there. No, he's okay. Okay, but it's, clawing, no, he, it's funny. He's clawing her even after death. He's clawing her to death. <laughs> yeah, but is, that, has is a... that Hugh Jackman? Yeah, that's Hugh Jackman. That, that is Hugh is... Jackman. Yeah, is he in it? No, I wouldn't think so. But he might be. This was filmed a long time ago. This has been in the can for a while, guys. This is being yeah. Yet they keep pushing but, it back. But this was but this was after Logan, and Logan was his last movie. Oh, Joshua Hughes says he thinks this is uh, unofficial. All right, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want to pinch 
Measure Miller's cheeks. Well, thank you, Booster. Once again, typing in the chat instead of just saying it. Wonderful. Uh, Nick W was, says uh, Disney can't we get the X universe fast me. enough for me. Oh my True. god. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I was ignoring you, Booster. Did you say something? I'll ignore you, Chester. <laughs> but Chester, they need to fall to uh, Booster's trap because now you have to read what he types. Oh, uh, maybe that's his plan. Maybe he is far more intelligent yeah. than he than he looks. All right. He's what? not. He's not. <laughs> huh? Anyway, Give too uh, much but the, I, I'm kind of a uh, uh, the uh, you illustrations came and says yo well yo back to you sir um, yo. and um, what I, I don't do? know uh, I I kind of I'm curious on Disney's decision here uh, because you know they could have just buried this thing and that's what I expected them to do uh, but it looks like they are at least trying to see if it can come up but after this bad this what. I don't know what number this is, but after this uh, uh, most recent failed uh, test screening, I'm kind of wondering if they're just going to bury this thing. I mean, uh, it's not their money what I would that do has if been I would wasted. Just, uh, just put it to DVD. Just do straight to digital DVD release and don't yeah. put it in theaters. Because if they put it in theaters, they're just going to embarrass themselves, it sounds like. Yeah, just no, put it on Hulu just, or something. Yeah, I would just straight avoid that. And uh, The whole thing is an embarrassment. Yeah, the whole thing is an embarrassment. I mean, going straight to DVD would be a huge slap in the face after spending the millions they did, too. I, They just can't win. Yeah, well, I don't think Disney spent that much on it. It was mostly uh, Fox. Yeah, no, this is so Fox. Disney's money. basically, yeah, Dis Disney's basically trying to get this out for free and just make pure profit on it. That's but true. But it's so bad, they can't even get that done. Yeah. <laughs> EJ Morg says, I agree that uh, Sophie Turner was not the best choice for Gene. Uh, the uh, want, uh, wanted to, they wanted to capitalize on her popularity from Game of Thrones. Yeah, that, once again, uh, that, what I had said earlier, they always want to go with what they think is hot. But that doesn't, that doesn't, if it doesn't serve the project, then they don't do it. I mean, this is old logic. This is, this is not a new concept. If it doesn't serve the project, don't do it. And she obviously doesn't serve the project. I have no problem against her at all. I have nothing against the girl. She just doesn't fit the part. And it's a problem, especially seeing as she's the center of the film. Now, the girl they had for the uh, the original X-Men run uh, was much better for Jean Grey, I thought. Oh, Fem Femme K. Jansen? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know the entire name, cast but... of the original X-Men movies was better, period. I mean, the, the star power in that cast alone is unbelievable. These new guys, none of them have the star power of Jackman or the star power of Patrick Stewart. Whether you, whatever you think of those people personally, they're legends in the in now. I mean, they're icons. They and are. I don't see most. Maybe maybe the guy who I can't even think of his name. That's how little his star power is. Uh, maybe the guy who plays um, uh, Xavier will go on to be something like that. But. James I just McAvoy. Don't see the rest of yeah, McAvoy. McAvoy. I just don't yeah, he's, think the rest of he's impressive. He's an impressive actor. Yeah, <clears throat> Fast you know, have you not seen bad him in Split? Oh, he's impressive. Yeah, he's dude. fantastic. He's oh, he's so good in Split. But uh, but to be honest, uh, to be honest, Fassbender is is a pretty good actor too. Uh, but yeah. for, but they made weird oh, decisions. Oh, he made Fast Man. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, they make strange decisions, right? They, like for instance, they had uh, Mohawk Rogue. Uh, excuse me, Mo Mohawk Storm in the uh, last movie, right? Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you focusing on her more? You should. Uh, Storm is an incredibly important character in X Men. You know, and people and love course, Storm, and she's a woman of color. Like yeah. they would love. Why do they not yeah. push Storm? She it, is literally do. one of the most popular characters in Marvel. Adam, period. Yeah, she, and she's she's Ever. everything that these uh, puritanical social justice warrior weirdos want, right? You would think so. She's and, and she Why be, don't they push her? Match, yeah, and they would match like the what the fanboys want because Storm ran the X Men forever. And she, and you know? well, she was a good leader actually. Storm yeah, it's, it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. The yeah. just, they should just do a Storm movie, Storm and the X Men. How's that? That would be awesome. They could easily do that, and we'd love it. Oh but yeah. But they didn't. They did nothing with her, man. Um, they but they they keep putting Angel in because they wanted him to be Archangel. But it's like, why? Yeah, you're, you didn't yeah. Have... <laughs> if you're not if you're not going to do the story justice, then you don't need Archangel. Archangel comes from Mister Sinister's and that storyline. Yeah. yeah. No, apocalypse. Well, right? no, apocalypse didn't yeah. pick it up. Yeah, I understand what Danelli's saying. Yeah. Or is it, the movie is the movie any different? Do they have Sinister in the movie, or is it just? Not that oh, I well, recall. I don't well, remember they they were teasing that we were going to have Mister Sinister, um, in the next movie, but then they dropped it for whatever reason. 
Veilnit Vail says Storm will be in the next Black Panther. Hey, you know, if they if they marry uh, Black Panther and Storm, that would be cool. But I don't think they're going that direction because they already have mm. his queen laid out for him, right? Yeah. Unless something mm. happens to her. Um, yeah, I fully support that idea. They should definitely run with Storm. Go, just give her give her one movie. Try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But there's literally no reason not to. Um, they've done a bunch of Wolverine movies, and Wolverine's great, and most people love Wolverine enough that his movies were successful, plus Hugh Jackman <laughs> is Hugh Jackman. Sure. Um, but I really think they could do – Storm's a great character. She She's my wife's favorite character in all of comic books. Mm. Um, I really think they're missing a huge potential. If they find the right actress and get a de- – they don't have to have a great story, just a decent story, they would kill it. It would kill it. But yeah, they're dumb. It's weird. Uh, but it's the same thing with like Cyclops, right? Cyclops is a very important member of the X-Men, but they've never really used him properly. I don't, I never got it. Um, Lou Illustration says, what are the chances that the X-Men 3, The Last Stand, is a better Dark Phoenix story? Mm. Now, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm put my hat in and say how the way it's going and people are reacting to the, this movie that the last stand is probably going to be better than the Dark Phoenix one, which is not a good thing at all. Um, but yeah, that's a and, and, and idea. of course, yeah. But the I, the thing for me is, why in the world would you do this storyline again? We've already seen it. I mean, I don't, I don't again get these people, man. Re- yeah. um, and it's who, the same continuity, isn't it? I don't know. Yes and no. <laughs> it, it is. And yes it isn't. and no. They, they screwed with they the timeline a- so much. It's yeah, the, it was a soft reboot. First class was a soft reboot of the orig- of the whole franchise, you, and then oh they God. soft rebooted again with Days of Future Past. Basically, uh, what it is is some executive was right, and he knew that these people weren't going to have the star power of the original cast, so they had to tie them together so they could show up in the movies. That's mm-hmm. that's why. Maybe. Well, I <laughs> yeah. personally think they need to cut the cord. Just cut it. Let uh, Disney do their new thing because you know they're working on X Men. That's the next the next chapter. Obviously, but has he, to be. But here here's the thing: the people you, you keep saying, why do they make the same decision? Well, think about the team behind these X Men movie: Brian Singer, Simon Kimberg. Oh wait, where do we hear Simon Kimberg? And oh, screenwriter for The Last Stand. Uh, screenwriters for the recent Star Wars properties, such as Rebels, Resistance, and um, what's the other one? I can't even remember. Solo. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe they should know plot, better. Plot, than... plot, plot, plot thickens. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, uh, I get what you're saying, but it's uh, it, it still doesn't make sense to me, dude. I mean, I mean, could know. it also be? Cause... I'm sorry. It's... I was. Just... Could also be because, like, every you know, 10 15 years, maybe they should do a reboot because they have a whole other generation of fans. I need to see the beginning, it's good, it's good for them to jump in, yeah. But this is what I think they should do I think they should do the Morlock line. Obviously, you should have the mutant registration over the top of everything because it's a major part of uh, the X Men, but I think they should do the Morlock storyline, um, and have a connection between that, uh, somehow and the Fantastic Four. And then use the Fantastic Four to bring in uh, Avenger cameos from here to the, uh, here, uh, every now and then. I think that's what they should do. Something along those lines. And I have a feeling that is what they're going to do. Because that's a smart move, right? It's a safe move. Don't repeat the Fox's you know, mutant registration line again. Don't do it. Do something right. different. There are so many good storylines you could follow. You could do Civil War. I mean, not Civil War. Um, um, X Men versus Avengers. If you really wanted, to. I wouldn't do it, but they could. But I really think they should do the Morlock line. I think that would give yeah. a uh, that could be darker, I, more horrific uh, way to look at the X Men. I am really sick of heroes fighting heroes myself, but yeah, that's me. Yeah, well, so am I. I agree with that. Yeah. Well, anyway, they could do the Morlock line and then run into like a fall of mutants scenario where all of like new york is turned into a hellscape and bring the fantastic four into that and do a really cool climax with the yeah. with the ff family and the x-men family that's right honestly if i was them i would avoid um i would just avoid putting wolverine and they've been doing it so far if they're going to reboot it i wouldn't put him in i would start from the very beginning before he was even in the X-Men because or, it's or, just, it's going to be really hard to replace Hugh Jackman. And it's going to, re- I think it's going to hurt the movie. Let's say, let's find somebody who kills it. It's going to really hurt the potential of it because he was the star of the original thing. Yeah, so I agree. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, but they could do so many other mutant things that don't have to have uh, uh, Wolverine in it, dude. Yep. They could. Exactly. Yeah. But here's, the, but here's the thing: it's Hollywood. They're not because Wolverine is a safe bet. So of yeah. course they're gonna get it. It's too great of a temptation. Yeah, well, well, he's he's the he's the cash cow on the X Men line. You know? Exactly. He is. Yeah, he is the Batman. And the, and the, and I mean, once they announce who's the next Wolverine, everybody's gonna show up to see how this Wolverine stacks up. Yeah, Whether the move announce. <laughs> Whether no, 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 you'll be surprised if they if they announce uh, Ezra Miller as Wolverine. I'm not going to show. <laughs> I will. I absolutely will. Hello, no, I got Kitty Claws. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's that's through the interview. That's the red carpet. Uh, Josh, he's he interesting. Bolt to make a short Wolverine. Uh, well, we, well, it'd be nice to have a short Wolverine, but uh, you know. Uh, Joshua Hughes mm. says, uh, could Mole Man be a Morlock? I mean, I guess they could twist it if they wanted to. Uh, but this is a more interesting comment from Joshua. He says, and Skulls are going to be in this one for some reason. I think he means Skrulls. Maybe he did write Skrulls. And Skrulls are going to be in this one for some reason. Well, I know the Skrulls are in Captain Marvel. Are they going to bring him into the... They, uh, are they in uh, that? Oh, you're right, dude. I did see that. In this Dark Phoenix movie, there are Skrulls for some they odd reason. Really? Oh no! Well, I'm, I'm well, assuming that scrubs. is how they're going to bridge, bridge it, bridge it. Because they eventually are going to bring all of these into the same universe, I would assume. Um, somehow, I don't know how that's going to make sense, but they'll they'll figure out a way to try it at least. So maybe that's how they're going to bridge it. I don't know. I don't know, but we could spend a lot of time on this, so let's not though. Let's move on to something else, <laughs> um, and let's, let's <laughs> yeah, move on to my favorite subject, my most favorite subject of all time, because I am the Brie Larson Whisperer. Go ahead, to know. Oh, Brie Larson confirms that Marvel wants to make Captain Marvel a big feminist movie to the surprise of nobody. <sighs> I so, think every time you show Brie Larson, we should do cat calls. You guys, uh, you hear that? You hear that? That ticking? That's the death of the MCU. It's coming. It just well, tick, 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 I, I think tick, it's strong enough ticking. that it can take a hit. I think it'll. I can think it can take a hit. It can take one. Yeah. It's not going to take the next seven because every single movie is going to be this. They've already admitted that. That is the goal. Is to it's going to be all women. It's going to be straight up agenda driven movies. It's woo, that's what's going to happen. Hope you're ready. <laughs> well, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but um, we'll have to see. I, I just can't think that they would throw that away like that. They're not stupid. Uh, in that group, we know that the good thing about Disney is they break things into into companies. You know, you have a Lucasfilm, you have a Marvel Studios, you have Pixar, you have a Disney, whatever they call a princess movie uh, section. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I I have a feeling that uh, you know, with Kevin Feige and the people that, that are helming that, that they might uh, bend the knee a little. But once it once that knee gets takes a heavy shot, I think they're gonna they're gonna change course. Um, well, the problem is, is it's Feige is the one saying it. He's not bending the knee. He wants to do it. Okay. He wouldn't have got that job if he wasn't a hard leftist. Come on now. You really think Disney's going to hire somebody who isn't? Yeah, I don't mind. They, never, they have it in years. I don't mind a, a, a liberal doing art, artistic things. They, they tend to be better at that anyway. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I just, uh, you, you know, you, you still want to bring some sensibility into the situation. And Kevin Feige has proved that he's quite sensible. So I, I just All trust, in, trust in Kevin. Him. Trust in Feige. I don't trust in Kevin because he has a master above him known as Disney. Why? And all Disney cares about is keeping their brand strong to keep their stock price up. They don't care if these movies lose money. They don't care if Star Wars loses money for 10 years. As long as their brand, Disney, stays up, their stock prices stay up, and the shareholders are happy. That's all they care about. You place too much trust in Kevin. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. Someone had a meeting here. Oh, uh, with uh, Marvel and their big feminist movie. Uh, let's see who's speaking here. Uh, director um, Anna Bowden. Okay. One Anna of the Bowden. two directors for this movie. It had to take two directors. Uh, okay. Uh, the fact that she is well, uh, probably because one of the directors is there for some manner of diversity hire, and the other one's actually doing the job. Um, the fact that she is just herself and cannot be contained is pretty awesome. It means that she's like wild. What does that even mean? God, you you didn't read it right. It, it means like she's like wild, and she's and I love that she's un unapologetic, and I love that she's not apologizing for her strength first as a human in the Air Force, and that she's never trying to shirk herself because 
of who she is, and she can't even be somebody else if she wanted to. She can't. Mm. She just can't. Don't you understand, Chester? She's a strong woman. Well, Absolutely. she also loves that she's unapologetic. How many times are they going to say this? How many interviews? I mean, obviously they have a script. They keep saying the same Come on. stuff. It's, right? it's, it's repetition. It's repetition. Mm. It's repetitions. You repeat it until it goes into your psyche. Mm -hmm. It's a psychology 101, Chester. Okay. Well, let me ask this question then. I love that she's unapologetic. I love that she's not apologizing for her strength, et cetera, et cetera, which you already said. But why do we say the same thing two times in a row? Okay. Yeah. Agenda, anybody. Nick Fury, it, actor yes. Samuel Jackson, Jackson, would echo, echo, echo. The Avengers are up against some really, really tough odds right now. We saw throughout Infinity War. So now I'm not doing a very good Samuel L. Jackson. Maybe Booster would do a better Samuel L. Jackson. Why don't you read this as Samuel L. Jackson, please? Okay. I'm going to I'm going to read this as Samuel L. Jackson. I'm sure this will be a perfect impression. <clears throat> the Avengers are up against some really, really tough odds right now. We saw throughout Infinity War. So now we need something that's as powerful as Thanos. T T T some point we'll find out how powerful she is <laughs> at all the things all the things that she's capable of. She's one of the few people in the Marvel universe that can travel time travel. So what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Oh, cool. What? Who? When? Yeah, she, Since when is Captain travel. Marvel time travel? All right. Who wants to take this nickel bet right now that she's going to literally show up and just punch Thanos and win? It's basically <laughs> one, hit, one hit KO on Thanos. It might not be a punch, but it's going to be something that ridiculous. It'll be some then, ridiculous attack that she does and beat, just beats him. Goes back in time and stops him from snapping. Yeah, <laughs> and um, then we got uh, all of all of the male characters got to go. Wow, a woman! How gracious of us to be saved by one such as thee. They're all going to like bow. They're like, can we get you anything? So, a bathrobe, some muffins, Miss Woman. See the thing is, I it's like it's like now now I can go away happy. I can no longer need, be Captain America. There can only be one captain in this team. See, the, but, you, you, but here's the thing, though. Um, if they had not said any of this nonsense, and they, they made an absolutely killer, killer movie with Captain Marvel, and then they brought her into Endgame, and she did one-punch Thanos, uh, there would be far mm -hmm. less of an outcry, right? If they just shut their mouth. They can't shut their mouth, right? Uh, John Dillard seems to want to pick on Denali today. So he says, don't read out, out loud, Denali. He, he doesn't like your voice, I guess. Don't That's type right. out loud, Dylan. <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't okay. Uh, Vanley says, "Why would anyone apologize for their strength?" Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> it continues. Who's speaking now? Schwartz. Schwartz has something to say. Um, uh, maybe we'll have Thundara read this one. Who's, you can be a Schwartz. Who's Schwartz? Hang on, uh, I want to explain why they apologize for their strength, and you're gonna ding me because strength means being a bitch. That's what it means. It doesn't oh. mean strength like everybody else thinks of strength, a strong person. That's what it means. Anyway, what am I reading? You're you're going to be Schwartz, so you're going to be. Oh, all, you're going to, I want you to. I want you to channel Mel Gibson. No, not Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Brooks. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm going to. I'll get arrested. <laughs> no, no. You you are the Mel Brooks. Be the Mel Brooks. Oh, Mel Brooks. I thought you said Mel Gibson. No, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. <laughs> Uh, Mel Gibson is the enemy of the Mel Brooks. Yes, go ahead. Oh man, you're putting me on the spot here. Now I can't stop thinking about <laughs> Mel Gibson. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, get two two shots of beer into you. They'll loosen it up. I'm trying to think what Mel Brooks sounds like now. All I can hear is Mel, you. Literally, Mel Gibson is on my merchandising. Brain. Merchandising. <laughs> I'm a sugar nut. Oh, Use God. the Schwartz. Use the Schwartz. All right. Let's see. I can't do it. Sorry. I can't do it. I can't get Mel Gibson out of my mind. All I can think about is him on that phone yelling about juice. All right. Go ahead, Booster. J right. Make this the right. intro juice Schwartz here. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Copyright strike incoming, boys. <clears throat> Merchandising. Anna and Ryan had a really cool sensibility <laughs> and a take on the sci fi genre that was a little more grounded than I think what we'd seen in some other Marvel movies. Hey, really liked Winter Soldier and they really liked Civil War and wanted to I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You're, 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 wanted... sounding, you're sounding more like uh, Mel Brooks' mom is what he sounds like, yeah. 
No, no. <laughs> he sounded like Helen Wood. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that. Wanted to make this movie feel a little more like that than the Guardians movie had. Yeah, he sounded more like Woody Allen than Mel Brooks. Yeah, yeah, Woody. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Schwartz is what now that, Woody Allen. There this you is, go. uh, yo, thanks, guys. I'm going. Yeah, police incoming. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't do a Jew accent in actual English. Um, I can only do it in Yiddish. <laughs> Oh my! Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, right. um, this article. Well, we're not going to dwell on this as long as we did yesterday, because you know it's uh, it's just beating a dead horse, right? Uh, but the uh, the thing is, sorry, no, Chester, free. No stop. Free. No beating no horses. Okay. Hey, hey, now, now, I, you know what I'd love to see? I would love to see uh, one of our artists here take uh, cut her head off here. And and take all this hair away, and give her a crew Chester cut. Chester just threatened to cut off Brie Larson's head. No, I didn't. I, would, I threatened to, to cut off the head of her picture. Um, and uh, but I'm, I'm just saying, how male of a face does she have? I mean, look at it. It's so masculine. If you if you can imagine if it wasn't the hair for not being looks, there, she looks like a dude. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for the love she had, I uh, mistaken it for a for a dude. Uh, yeah, no, she has Ashton Kutcher's lips. Ooh. That's a man. Yuck. Well, she's got the bob, so I mean that's uh, that distracts you. Um, and uh, you know, they're not very good bobs. Well, they could be, uh, but uh, right. so there's some there's some sexism for you, Bree, uh, just to make you make you angry today. Next, she's kind of, she kind of looks like a young Sybil Shepherd. Oh, okay, okay. Who, whose face got you know, ran into a curb? You, you know, awkward. Oh, no, yeah, this, this this next one, no. Yeah, no, that's <clears> wonderful. <throat> Hulu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just Go let it dinner. die. The rap. Uh, who, and I mentioned this from uh, yesterday's show when we were talking about the four animated uh, series that Hulu's going to be showing for <laughs> the offenders. Of course, a perfect oh, name no. for what the series. But Hulu's is open to Daredevil or Luke Cage, original uh, boss sites, good creative relationship with marvel i was talking about um about craig the vp for hulu's original slate sections he was open on you know getting daredevil luke cage iron fist back onto their platforms you know whenever marvel is ready we're ready to put them in there because you know hulu's owned by disney two-thirds of them by the end of the merger so big part <clears throat> so what you're I, telling me is I need to cancel my Hulu. Gotcha. Cool. Rock on. Yeah. Um, I think I'd rather just let Daredevil die. Like I love that show. It's my favorite show. It, it is, but I think I would just rather see it die than just, just go under completely, then be revived by another team and just ruined. Yeah, I, I'm I, not sure what they're doing with this. I mean, I, I like, get that Hulu was saying, yes, I want it, but... Uh, do we, mm. maybe we don't want you to have it. I mean, it's um, yeah, I don't know about this. is weird. This is odd uh, well, because if Disney was going to do it, why wouldn't they just put it on their their uh, streaming service, which we know is coming out later uh, this year, fourth quarter or beginning of uh uh, uh uh 2020, right? We know it's coming. So I don't. know. Well, maybe I I haven't seen anything on this, so I don't know. But maybe Disney is going to keep that more for their Disney style movies. You know the the. Family friendly movies and stuff, and maybe they want this to be, since they apparently I didn't know that they own a big chunk of Hulu now. Oh, yeah. Maybe they they basically still control it, so um, mm-hmm. maybe they can put their more edgy, more adult content somewhere mm-hmm. else and not mm-hmm. tarnish maybe the version or yeah. whatever. Well, yeah, well, that's then, what they're doing, and that's what they've been are, talking about before. Well, Hulu's own. already had a pretty good run with some Marvel shows. I mean, they did Cloak and Dagger, right, and then they did Runaways. So oh. there's a track. I mean, oh, Runaways is some social justice crap, man. man but I not do well not done. want them to do Iron. I want nobody to ever make another Iron Fist show. Just for the love <laughs> just, of God, that was just bad. never have that idea again. Yeah. No, um, Iron Man and, can be good. It's just the people that they brought in task. They don't know Iron Man, and they made a crap shoot thing out of I, it. Iron Fist could be good. It could be amazing. In fact, it's such a yes. simple direct story but you can't, mm-hmm. they're not going to be allowed to make it good in this day and age because he's a white guy and that's that's just the reality is, of it 
Is Iron Fist Comics supposed to be a gritty like the Daredevil one? Because it feels like they were trying to make the Daredevil show again and just failed with a goofy character. The like, uh, There's one run of, of Iron Fist which was really gritty, the Immortal Iron Fist. That was a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, what I would. It just felt like uh, Iron Fist was supposed to be a more goofy character. I don't know. In the seventies, he was pretty goofy. Yeah, in the yeah. 80s. well, every, everything was goofy in the seventies. Yeah, <laughs> in the eighties, he was. He was. It was a really lighthearted book, and he didn't get gritty and serious till <clears throat> mid, like early two thousands. Mm. Yeah, with, with, right. with the you immortal. Could do Iron that Fist. though. You could do a totally lighthearted take on the character and have him be. You know, we don't have these shows anymore, and I'm not saying they were great shows or anything, but they everybody remembers them. You had the the uh, like the Hercules and the Xenas and stuff. You could go that silly with it, and it would probably be successful. It, but for some reason, they think they need to make every one of these characters edge lords or whatever instead of just making a fun show that anybody can watch with a little bit of cartoony vi- or a little bit of actiony violence in it. Mm. I don't get it. You know, they could do that. That would be great for. Uh, I know a character that would work for it would be Quasar. <laughs> Lighthearted, <laughs> okay. cosmic romp. You know, it's an interesting uh, mm-hmm. thing for me. If we go back in time a little bit and we look at the seventies, the seventies did have some good movies and stuff, of course. But seventies really music was king. It was, it was probably the best mm-hmm. decade we've ever had for music. Eighties uh, uh, was the best movie decade we ever had for sure. They just killed that. The eighties was amazing. Um, and in the 90s, it was just ridiculously horrible. It was a horrible decade. We should just forget it. Mm. Uh, the aughts were kind of lost, I think. And now we're sitting here in uh, the end of this um, teens decade. And what does this decade have? We've had some really amazing hits, some amazing CG stuff. But we've, it's just been so much crap. It's like, you know, when are we going to get back to some real home runs, right? And I, I started off with music for the 70s. I didn't continue talking about that. But even musically, we are sucking so hard right now. The music, I mean, if yeah. you look at, um, if you look at uh, say, pop music, right? It has no soul. Oh, yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. It's all vacuous crap, absolutely. It's very vacuous. Well, there's a, there's a reason why most of these movies... You know, they're trying for mass appeal. They don't use modern pop music for these movies, for the themes and things and the trailers. They use 70s, 80s, maybe some 60s era music for these trailers because everybody knows those songs. And for the most part, people generally like them or at least don't despise them like most people do this modern garbage that's coming out. So you're absolutely right. I've said for a long time that I think things like video games and movie soundtracks in uh, 500 years of what people are going to think was our music for this time frame, not this garbage that we consider mainstream music. Oh, it is really bad, but I, I'm trying to make a point here. Um, now, if we uh, we look at how horrible pop... Now, pop music is always pop music. It is what it is. Uh, it is, as Booster has said, vacuous, because it is. It's just nonsense. It's what pop mm-hmm. music is, right? Um, but... Uh, the thing is, it's ha- what's happening right now is, you know, because we talk about how this progressive uh, or regressive thinking is affecting us here in comic books, right, in our movies. Uh, but you have to understand, it's far more insidious than that. It's everywhere, right? Now, you take country music, right? Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but the most popular music for decades and decades in America is country music. It's not pop. It's not hip hop. It's country. Right, and like you might want well, you might want exes live in Texas. Well, I mean, people might not want to accept that, but it's the reality. But here's the mm-hmm. thing: there has been a hard, hard push by the you know uh, the regressives to uh, modernize uh, country music and make it appropriate, right? As far as they're concerned, and what you're seeing in, in country music right now is a huge run of this absolute vapid, useless crap that is basically poorly poorly, I might add, imitating the the ridiculous pop music that's going on, right? And this is becoming more and more a trend to the point that I'm actually concerned that country music might be dead. Now that, that is an assassination attempt right there, right? Because country well, mu- music has always held the heart of the of the country, and now they're it's being twisted and, and broken into this you know this nonsense pop music because that's what they're doing. You know they they're, they're mm-hmm. basically dropping on the two and four. I don't know if you guys anything know anything about music, but they're dropping on the two and four with these stupid little you know or a little or a little 
just like pop music, right? And it's like, oh my God, it drives me nuts. You guys realize that uh, country music, it wasn't until what, the 40s or the 50s that the Grand Ole Opry even had a drum set on stage? Right? I believe it. Yeah. The, the problem is, is that entire culture that made that music is dying. The, the country and Western culture or just whatever you want to call it, it, even in the South, doesn't really exist like it used to. There's still parts of it that it's dominant, but most of the places where you would think it was, you know, king, it's just not. You can drive down south. I would just did, in fact. And, yeah, you can get a lot of country music stations, but not as many as you used to. It doesn't seem like – it seems like even that is fading away. It's it's pretty much all just becoming – different brands of pop music and it's trash it's so bad it is bad and and don't misunderstand i understand things uh you could put billy joel and some other people like that into the pop category but uh there it's a slightly different uh but um you know and there are some good pop but in general pop is uh it's pop it's useless it's for the lowest common denominator a denominator right um, anyway, let me come over here to the chat real quick and catch up because I'm, I'm definitely getting behind. Um, uh, Joshua Hughes says, uh, Thor almost did an OP one-hit kill on uh, fully part of Thanos. So maybe. Uh, he's talking about a one-shot from yes. uh, Captain Marvel. But That's Thor true. earned that power. He didn't just he just mm-hmm. wasn't granted it. He, that whole movie was him, and really the movies leading up to it, was him earning that power. Uh, but he didn't aim for the head. And he didn't aim for the head. And we don't know if that would have killed him, by the way. He had the gauntlet on. I doubt that would have killed him. It might have hurt him, but it wouldn't have killed him. Yeah. It was a good scene, though. Yeah. It was. was. Uh, John uh, 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 E.J. Morgs is certainly appreciating uh, the Woody Woody Allen impersonation uh, from Booster. It's killing him. Uh, John Dillard says, (laughs) oh, snap. He got me again. Why do I tangle with the great Denali? He's picking on you today. You've got his focus. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, E.J. Morg says her eyes are very close together. Brie Larson, yeah, I know. Uh, would have been a better fit for the role of Captain Marvel. Uh, who would have been a better fit for the role of Captain Marvel? Well, we've talked about this before. I personally would have chose Emily Blunt. I mean, I think uh, she's a really good mm-hmm. actress. She would have been perfect. I uh, but you choose know, we her for anything. About. Yeah, she's solid. Um, oh, I would, I would choose her also. <laughs> yeah, Nick W. Oh, Jesus. Nick W. says, again, Disney owns 6% of Hulu. Well, they, they own 40%, and they just got a boost, right? Uh, maybe D&D can, uh, can come back. Uh, D&D, is kind of, I think he's talking about Daredevil. Uh, Bill is speaking here instead of uh, on the chat again. Uh, and he says, the corpse of Lucille Ball. <laughs> what? She Bill? would have been a better Captain Marvel. <laughs> oh, well, <I> see. <laughs> More animated as well. <laughs> They were at least, we were at least got some smiles. Did you guys know that <laughs> Lucille Ball was actually behind uh, in her company with her husband uh, were behind the actual uh, uh, inception of uh, uh, Star Trek? Did you know that? Yes. 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 I did Interesting know that. little thing. It was thing. her decision. Yeah, it was her decision and Mission Impossible. She called the shots on yeah. approving that one, too. It's an odd thing. You wouldn't think that. But, uh, yeah, she was a powerful lady. Uh, Dave says uh, they really missed the ball with a uh, Sybil Shepherd, uh, Civil Sable TV show back in the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my, Lord, my. no. <laughs> I'm telling you that a young Sybil Shepherd, she was amazing. She was, was she? Absolutely amazing. Oh, she was. No. She could have done that great Larson crap with her eyes closed and two hands behind her back jumping into an empty swimming pool. Goodness gracious. Who was talking there? Who was that? Was that Bill? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice voice, dude. <laughs> All right, let's keep it up here. Uh, uh, let me see. I'd uh, rather see, uh, I'd, I'd rather let it uh, die too. I can't continue with the Netflix formula. Yeah, well. I really love. I, I I'm not a big fan of all the Netflix things. It's I, they kind of disappoint me a little bit. I'm happy they were made though. Uh, but the Daredevil run, especially particularly season one and three, were really good. Uh, Peter uh, uh, E J Mork says Punisher season two was just bad. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, we dedicated 30 minutes to that for sure. Uh, e J Mork says uh, Iron Fish should have been more of a visceral gritty show with retro kung fu style elements. Yeah, it would have been nice, but they didn't give the boy to, they didn't give the boy enough time to prepare. It's kind of their fault. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick W says we need another season of Iron Fist. Am I right, guys? Okay, Nick, you can go away now. Um, <laughs> Bill Nitz says Cinematic Universe MCU was a new thing, quite an accomplishment for this day. No, no, the MCU did a great job. They they did it how you should, and DC panicked and rushed everything and screwed the whole thing up. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. They should have just let it happen naturally, but they no, no. want to be like, we have a big universe too. Look, you they guys. Yeah! Made, no. Whoever was in charge of Aquaman, just take it over and do it all. Because I don't know, dude. Movie. Aquaman wasn't that great a movie, I, I hear. Uh, but uh, I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to check it out. You hear no, wrong. D- DC and Marvel are, are kind of like the, equi- the comparison of Crock-Pot versus a microwave. Oh, there you go. You know? Hey, man, Crock-Pot can make a really tasty meat, though. Okay. No, uh, absolutely. Crock pot way to go. Slow cook it. It's nice and good. Or you just nuke it and it's soggy and mushy and it kind of tastes like it, but it's really not it. You know? <laughs> Josh B. Hughes says, I can't stand most country music. Oh, well, that's your opinion. Uh, Nick W. says, what the heck is going on tonight? Where are the meeples? Oh, I do apologize. We're going to get to that very shortly. Uh, meeples! Taylor Swift <laughs> killed country music. Okay. Uh, Bisha Kibi, uh, you'll be the princess and I'll be the princess. Uh, I'll, no, no, I'll, I'll love, uh, what? <clears throat> you'll be the prince and i'll be the princess oh it's a love story baby somebody kill him say. is that yes. is that a country song okay that is a it is it is, a, it is a country song i heard that today in dollar general wow yeah wow uh ej oh. morg says <laughs> jessica alba for captain marvel no dude absolutely oh. not uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jessica Alba for just being naked. Hey, yeah, well, she's a cute. Yeah, she's a hottie. She's a nice. Lady she won't too. be though. <laughs> you know, she does everything. She goes out of her way to not be naked. It's really annoying. Yes, it is. Well, she's a nice That's lady. Yeah, actually, she's not that type. She is actually. She's- yeah, uh, unlike Brie Larson, who puts up naked videos or, or pictures or at least or something on the internet. Uh, but hey, yo, yo, feminism. Okay. Hail Meeples, Dave said. All right, well, people are pushing for it. Hail Meeples! Uh, ah! but, uh, let's uh, do one more story and we'll move on to that. <clears throat> if Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. Uh, Child's Page TV series. Eh, I don't really care. I don't think... Uh, this is think, rubbish. No, no rubbish. Uh, uh, Doom Patrol. Okay. Diane Guerrero <clears throat> assures Doom Patrol is as wacky as Grant Morrison's comment. Uh, okay, don't care. Uh, All the languages you, you can speak in Spanish just kicks your ass. It does. Guerrero. Guerrero. <laughs> Guerrero. 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 <laughs> I speak Middle Eastern languages. Guerrero. And I don't speak have you guys Spanish covered, freedom. Have you guys uh, covered Doom Patrol already? We did, but you can give a comment okay. if you like. I think I'm going to wrap it up go over to the tabletop stuff. No, that's all right. I just, I mean, it's kind of cool just to see the property that's that old finally get its day. But I'm just glad Brendan Fraser's doing something again. Makes me happy. There you go. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Uh, But all right, I'm going to start this up. Uh, uh, Booster, can you please start up your table, uh, tabletop simulator, please? I would, but do we even have a game for bid? Oh, that's the, we're going to talk about and get into something. We're going to uh, we're going to talk more about this simulator. Actually, we're going to we're going to share here and discuss it and try to get more people involved with us because that's what we want, right? So I see. <clears throat> I brought it up over here, and uh, <clears throat> Booster is going to bring it up so everybody can see it on the uh, Hangout side. Uh, so let me uh, make sure I get this off of here like that. Oh, actually, I could just leave it like that. No, no, I, no I'll leave it like this. All right. Now. Um, the tabletop simulator. Uh, we have been playing around with this, and we've been uh, playing some games on it. And we had a great, great game last week on Thunder Arrow with uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we there's did. tons of games we could play. Now I, I, those of you on here uh, who uh, know board games, which is obviously a few of you, there are a lot of really cool games we could do. Uh, but we want to talk more about what this is and the things we could look into. Uh, so <clears throat> Booster is uh, just sent me a link. So let me see how do I how do I do that? I forgot. You hold shift and tab. Okay, I'm I'm holding shift, and I'm holding tab. Control Alt F4. Oh my God, Granddad! All right, uh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so you do play. play. Mm-hmm. All right, and then I have to join your server, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, oh, look at all this stuff I don't want. Let me get rid of that. Let me get out of here. Press. Yeah, there okay. you go. Everyone, don't look. Don't look at the password. Don't oh, no. Look, oh, no. oh they're all going to know my password. Oh, look. no. That's my, that's my bank account. Password. No. Your password Everyone... is these... Now they're going to... Everyone's going to hack into my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, but, <laughs> of course, the point is, guys. Um, here's the thing. Uh, this costs like 20 bucks on Steam. 
Uh, now, I know everyone does want to run out and do that, but uh, if you do want to uh, purchase the thing, you can sit and play with us. You don't even have to be on the panel. You could be right in the chat and uh, still come on and do stuff with us. Now, um, uh, there are a lot of games we could play. Now, what do you have set up here first? I have nothing set up. This is just a table. It's just a table. All right. So yeah. um, let's uh, uh, let's have you do it and go into the search okay. and let's look at the games, okay? Available games. Let's go look at that. Let's go to Uno. No, let's not go to Uno. Uh, go <laughs> let's play go some, into the game let's, and let's take a look at the games that are available, please. <laughs> All right. So uh, are you going to present me or would you uh, you like to You are presented. It's on my page, but it will we'll be following you as you go. So go ahead. All right. So what we do is we hold down the shift tab. We can just go to workshop. Oh, or actually we can even go to games here. Go to workshop here then go browse. Well, we look oh, at wow. this. Oh, we can't see it. All right. So uh, let me just, I can switch that over real easy. I'll just switch it over here. So uh, uh, can you share your screen, Booster? All right. I'm supposed to share screen. <laughs> Oh, I'm so clever. I'm sorry. All right. He is so, a large kiwi bird. He is. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We uh. So here is our tabletop similar, right? And here's right. Uno. We're gonna play some Uno. But before we do that, we go to games here. We go to workshop. Mm -hmm. We hit browse, and then we have this huge selection of video games, video games, or rather board games here. Right, look! Look at look at this! Look at this! Board games, ten thousand card games, eight thousand strategy games. Look at this! Yeah, this and is it's enormous. A, and it's a one-time twenty dollars purchase. $20. Yeah. So yes. we wanted to and show you, you how older. huge this thing is. Was that permanent? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's very. Uh, very I don't know. Think, what, why don't the uh, chat or anyone else just tell me what kind of uh, what kind of games do you want me to show? All right. What, what games do you want me to look for? Uh, well, I'll start it off while the chat responds. Uh, check uh, Champions of Midgard. Of Midgard, like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel really awkward when, that, when that's not here. No, it is, <laughs> it is most certainly there. I have it myself. It's sitting right there. All right. This one? Yep. Oh, that's Champions right. of the Nixon. This one. Right hand. Oh, Champions call. of Midgard. Oh, here, here we are. Wow. Amazon Midgard, would you look at that? Boom, it's even scripted. People even add scripts to these, so it can make things slightly easier. All right, now this game right here. Uh, Boom, I'm going to hit popular. subscribe right now. Okay. Uh, this game right and here then... is a, a very popular game that came out. It is a worker placement game, kind of like Lords of Waterdeep. Uh, uh, and actually, a lot of people consider this to be the replacement for Lords of Waterdeep. I don't agree, uh, but uh, it is look very popular. But it's very much like the game we played last week. All right, let's, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Oh, I remember Hero Hero Quest. Now, Hero Quest is a very old-fashioned game, um, and it's uh, it's you know typical roll and move type, I think. Uh, uh, but uh, it, it is an old-fashioned game, but it's very fam uh, famous. It's it's a legend game, right? Bring that up. Boom! I have Hero Quest. What was this? Custom dicks, even. You can, yeah, you customize the. What is this all? Right. You can even customize the dick yourself. You don't oh, need go, to, though. Go, go away. <laughs> well, it's downloaded. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, look. Play bloody poker. <laughs> no, dude. No, no, no poker. Um, I don't want nothing to do with that? me and no poker. Okay, okay, okay Booster. Stay focused. Stay focused. Let's go over the search again. Go back over the search. <laughs> stay focused. Just so this is how I'm going to pay you back for my swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might find it hard to do that if you're playing against me, buddy. Nick, 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 Nick. Oh, Monopoly. I, I think I already have bloody Monopoly. I think I think Pope Fire made me get uh, the Teen Titans go Monopoly. No, no Monopoly. <laughs> I protest. No Monopoly. Uh, how about Just you guys? What what board games do you play? Game how about you, Bill? What is your what board games your build your family play, dude? Um. Well, we were playing card games mostly. We were playing Apples to Apples just recently. Oh, that's it's... a good game. Yeah. Apples, um, the apples, but, the apples. Yeah, that's good family fun or or a party game actually. Oh, there you go. We actually should plan that one day because that's a really good party game. That's probably fun to watch. Yeah, that would be hilarious with this yeah. crowd. So that's it. That's like that easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. I will be right easy, back very easy. quickly, gentlemen. Yeah, oh no, his his thing is a. Uh, Singing. His ankle bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't think they have that much technology in New Zealand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me uh, share these things. Swift and sure, steady, prompt, de- uh, defiant. Now, with this right here, what you're doing is you're, you're kind of creating these little uh, comments and story stuff. But we'll, we'll play that one day. Uh, Apple and Apple. Uh, apples to Apples is actually a great, uh, great game. Jumanji. It didn't go well. <laughs> pandemic. No. Oh, there you go, Beowulf. Yeah, bring up Pandemic. Now, this is a legend game. This is like top three all-time game, right? Uh, pandemic is uh, basically there's a pandemic going worldwide, and you're playing, trying as a group, uh, trying to stop that from happening. It's a co-op game. Uh, so, you know, most of us think of board games as being versus. We are versus the other players. But a game, a, a co-op game like Pandemic is we are working together against the mechanics of the system to win, right? And that, so Pandemic's really cool. <coughs> I, Jordan, says hello, hello. Beowulf says Munchkin is technically a card game, not a board game, but it is available. Yeah, no, Munchkin is uh, is another very popular se- uh, series from Steve, uh, oh, what's his name? The, who's the GURPS guy? Uh, Steve Jackson. Uh, it's from Steve Jackson oh, yeah. Games. Um, okay. and there is a munchkin for anything. You you name a theme, there's a munchkin for it. It's ridiculous how much there is. But munchkin, the, the, the mechanics of the system carry over from one game to the next. And they might add a little bit. Uh, the only munchkin in my collection is, of course, the Marvel comic book one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, munchkin's a great little fun game. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. How, how far back do they have pretty old games? I mean, like you said, Steve Jackson games. Do they have a uh, yeah. Car Wars? They they might. Booster will check one? it out, but he's getting him. He's getting food, I think, <clears throat> as usual. As usual. <laughs> Booster. I'm the medic. I don't know this game. Oh no, he's talking about pandemic. I see. Uh, don't gotta go. All right, sorry, dude. See you later, Nick. <clears throat> but um, the point being, as soon as Boucher comes back, we'll be able to look at more. But uh, there, uh, anything you can name is on there. It's literally, uh, it, I'm shocked how good this tabletop simulator is, simply for playing games, um, uh, because they have everything, you know. Um, and that's really cool. And some of them are, are just kind of set up and you literally have to finger over everything with your mouse and pick it all up. Other things are scripted, which means they have buttons. It's it's much more efficiently set up. But the, what happened with this tabletop simulator is you had, uh, they put out the, the software and then you have people creating, well, in essence, mods. So this is basically 10,000 mods, right? Now there's a few companies actually trying to sell stuff. <laughs> and I don't think it's a smart move because... <laughs> why would I buy your game when I could pick 10,000 free ones? You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's not, you know. I'm back. And there are some pretty fun ones on the uh, DLC part. Uh, there's a good solution. You want me to show that off? Yeah, on there, or should we uh, ignore them? Well, that's what we're trying to do. Right. We're trying to show it off. So please show it off. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll just go back to sharing my screen. So, yeah, this is our DLC sh- section. So, uh, what have we got? Pillars of Eternity, Lords of the Eastern Reach. Uh, Draco Magi, Wizards Academy, Gia. The only one I've bought so far. Where, where are I? Uh... You actually bought one? Yeah, yeah, the Super Fight one. Oh, that was I the uh, first one we actually played. Hey, here Ooh. we are, Super Fight. They got Cosmic Encounters, man. Yeah, we already saw yeah. that. We played this already. Cosmic mm-hmm. Encounters. Are they? Are they? You having to pay for that? Yeah, I guess so. Where, oh, where is a it? Bummer. It's sitting right here. It's called Cosmic Encounters. Next to Epic. I can't. It's over here. Next oh, to yeah. Epic. Okay. Uh, this one you have to pay for, unfortunately. But, of course, this is a great game. Um, but, uh, you know, let's not look at the ones we have to pay money for. Let's look at the other 10,000 that are free. Yeah, you have a 10,000. But, yeah, the uh, prices are uh, even bucks. But when there's a big Steam sale, these come down to, like, $2, right? Yeah. Cosmic Encounter yeah. is another great, great, great game. Hmm. So, yeah, let's, let's go back to our workshop. Have people suggested more things for us to look at? Pandemic. <laughs> Jumanji. Pandemic. Pandemic, yeah? Yeah. That's a really good game. <clears throat> I think I spelled that wrong, did I? No, nope, oh, I didn't. You got All it right. right there. So, yeah, here we are. They got a script. Pandemic. Version. Yeah. They even have uh, the I legacies like on there. By, wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Sort of by most popular. Now, people tend to rate them, see if they came out well. Now, Legacy, which is down here, 
uh, these legacy games are very interesting. Uh, what happened a few year, a couple of years ago, or maybe three, four years ago in uh, board gaming, is uh, people started introducing these games. They did it with Risk first, I think, where you play the game, the game normally, but there's like a like a story campaign going on, right? Uh, so you make decisions, and as you make those decisions together, you're putting stickers on the board, or you're taking pieces out of the game and destroying them, right? or, or you're putting piece, new pieces in, you have little boxes. Uh, so it's uh, literally you're playing the game one time through. Um, and that sounds like, why would I board, buy a board game like that? Well, if you're a board game collector like myself and the other millions of us, um, <clears throat> our collections are very large. So having a game that you play 20 times that takes a couple of hours each is actually quite satisfying. And you're, you're having a story that is going to be different than the other people who played it, right? And they also sell little repacks where you can, you can uh, uh, pretty cheap, where you can reset it and do it again if you wanted to. Uh, but the, that's a, the pandemic is part of that this. thing that's been going on. They even put tabletop hockey in here. That's oh, what people wow. have managed to make with this. That is cool. <laughs> I am. I'm slubbing to that. That sounds hilarious to do. All right. Because they got look, look, in there. Bowling. Because this is a full physics-based uh, engine, right? Sure. So people have managed to make uh, bowling in this. That is hilarious. Is that Catan uh, free? Scripts of Catan? Yep, yep. Saddles oh. of Catan, all free. I've already uh, got that one. Cool. Hey, they got Carcassonne. Got Carcassonne is another really good one. Oh, dead. <laughs> Pokemon Master Trainer. <laughs> now, uh, dead, dead of Winter here, <clears throat> with its Crossroads system, uh, which will will be applied to other, other games in the future. With the Crossroads system in Dead of Winter, that is a really good game. It's a zombie game, but it's actually a really good one. Looks like there's two Catan. What's the difference? Oh, there's many Catan, dude. They've been coming out oh, with those for the decades. Hell? They, have, they do have Jumanji. <laughs> Some weeb crap. Oh look, they have X-wing. Hey, Ooh, dude, download. Uh, is that is that X-wing scripted? Uh, sorry, which one? X-wing. It's right here. X-wing. It's right next to Jumanji, dude. You missed it. Oh my god. Oh, this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, click on that real quick. So you want me to check that one out? Yeah, I want to see if it's scripted. I think it's just miniatures. Uh. Oh, so you just do it yourself. Now, this right here is a game we might want to think about playing because uh, <clears throat> this is yeah. a very successful thing. You have you, what you do is you build your little team of ships. Oh man! And they have you have some cards that let you do power things here or there. Uh, but um, what you do is you have these little uh, each turn you make decisions on this little dial of how you're going to move, and everyone has to do that before it starts. Then you go in turn. And you look at your dials that you set up for each of your ships, and you do what it says. And they have these little <coughs> odd-shaped rulers that you lay down, and you move the the ship where you want to move it. So it's very tactical, and uh, you're trying to you know blow each other's uh, you know ships out of the air and uh, and win, right? Um, this is a, a very clever little uh, miniature fighting game here with uh, X-wing. Uh, can you play against bots? Now that would be cool. <clears throat> I don't think so though. Uh, Booster, do you have you seen any uh, versus uh, AI here on Tabletop Simulator? I don't think it's possible. I don't think so. It might be something that will come in the future. I, I have a feeling this is going to continue because um, the board gaming world, I mean, the, the, the real collectors, the ones that are deep in it to it, like we are with comic books, uh, they are very serious, and there are hundreds of thousands of them that are very serious, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why you see 10,000 games have been modded and put on this thing so quickly. Um, I have a feeling you might see something like that in the future. A game like this would be perfect for it as well. And somehow we've lost Booster. I don't know why. He's just gone. He's gone. He's still there. He was no. even fell apart. No, he, he's gone. gone. Yeah. The ocean. So he died. Yeah. So Todd, what do you think about all this, man? You've been kind of quiet. What do you think about the board game stuff? He's a quiet boy. Um... I wish I had it. I don't have it, but I wish I had it. You know, I can play with, play with you guys and stuff. It's like twenty bucks, dude. Yeah, on, on we'll Steam. And that's the thing. It's, It'll it's, probably be on sale yeah. again soon. So I'm it saying might all be. the time. Yeah, it's you know it's it's odd because most of the stuff we do here is free, right? Uh, but this is something that doesn't uh, involve uh, some money being put in. Um, uh, I Jordan says, Chester, uh, can you play? Oh, you already said that. Uh, uh, oh, that sucks. So uh, hopefully that will, uh, add it in the future. I hope it will be too. Uh, I'm still here. Well, great. Uh, but, uh, Booster's not here. 
we've lost Booster. Um, so uh, what about you, Bill? Uh, you mentioned that you do play some games with your family, mainly card games, Apple to Apple and stuff like that. How, how many kids you got right now? Uh, two in the house. Two so, in the house. But I see. Two in the house, yeah. Um, when we had three of us, we used to do hero clicks, and that was pretty fun. We'd, oh, get, yeah. really, yep. we'd get really extravagant, build miniatures, and go off on it. That's a lot um, of fun. Yeah, hero clicks. That's a good game. But we did, I did uh, Catan. Actually, I was introduced to that like maybe two years ago, three years ago. I hadn't played it before. That was a blast. Yeah, that's fun. Catan so, is fun. Yeah, games of that genre are fun. And, but back in the day, I mean, I used to do a lot of different games. I, like, um, I remember, was it Reichhausen's War, um, 1776? Okay, yep. 221, 221 Baker Street. They're these big, like, box games. Uh, they look like bookends or something, or they're really huge. Tons and tons of miniatures evolved, but they're all like cardboard pieces. And then we do, uh, you know, aerial World War One aerial combat, World War Two tank combat, things of that nature. Oh, there's some Those really are... good games for that if you're if you're into that kind of thing. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. And then I remember uh, like start doing some Star Trek you know, or Starcraft with the game. That was another huge, huge investment of time. It was that Starcraft game where you'd go out and buy buy your miniatures. And, and he'll have like you know that that try to do the three dimensional space combat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know there are other games like uh, from the because <clears throat> you have kind of you have two kind of uh, style right. Uh, you have the European, um, which is usually worker placement or area control type of games, the German type mm -hmm. of game, and you have the <clears throat> unfortunately what they call Ameritrash <laughs> games, which are actually often more more fun uh but one of my favorite uh, euro games is uh called terra mystica uh that's a pretty heavy game it takes a while so it's not something that's easy to just to play we could uh but uh, i think that that's one of my favorites it's a really really good game uh lord's Waterdeep, which is an, an amera it's an ameritrash version of a european game is, is my favorite game though we played that last week uh beowulf says hmm do they have warhammer or other tabletop war games. Well, as soon as Booster figures out how to be alive again, we'll have him check. I, I, I've been here this whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. And I can go check. <laughs> These are what we Lies can't see. Like your, your screen is not sharing. Oh, there it is. It's back. Look, because well, I've been here this whole time. Look at me go. We oh, should play oh, Lord of the Waterdeep again. That was fun. It was you know what would be fun would be the uh, Tyrants of the Underdark. Do you see that version? Oh no, that's a good. That's a newer game. Uh, that's a D and D themed game, and that's pretty fun too. It's a, that's kind of a uh, kind of a area control uh, skirmishing type of thing, uh, but uh, it's got some very clever different mechanics actually. Tyrants of Order uh, of the Underdark. It's a good one. Of course, it deals with the Drow. Now, for anyone who said anything, we're not having an argument. It's Drow. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. What do they got so, for Warhammer? So we got like War. What is this? Warhammer 40k map mountains. I think it's just set pieces at the moment. I'm not sure if they have any uh, actual games. I I don't really know much about Warhammer, to be honest, so I'm not quite sure how this would all work. But you seem to have a lot of pieces, and the thing with this is you can... Uh, well, there you go. What's that one? I'll show you something, right? <coughs> oh, bottom right. How do we... Oh, crap. <laughs> right, Son of a... So what was that uh, like this or was it the Warhammer? Those, Warhammer. I think it was, oh, they got war, they got conquest. That would be a good game to play online. Conquest. What's that yeah. one? Warhammer Durank. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, it seems to be just some card game. Okay, with the theme. Okay. For nerds. Now conquest. Uh, Warhammer conquest is a card game as well. That one's really good. That's actually one of the. Uh, that, that's a card game that is competitive, meaning they have tournaments and stuff, and they have you know prizes and things like that. Uh, Conquest would certainly be fun to play. Um, I think they oh, have yeah. yeah that that right there would be fun to play. Um, and but this is a the versus game, so it's one versus one, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, that's that's a fun game to play for sure for Warhammer. So, so it's very easy to. So uh, all those other things, right, seem to be just little set pieces, yeah? And we can use the object section to uh, add a lot of these things, you know? Like, anytime you're playing any other game, right, you can add, like, little chess pieces if you absolutely need one, right? And where did that spawn? It will have spawned somewhere here, but this is a huge table, so... Oop. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Yeah. No, little that's chess pieces now. Handy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What else we got? So all those Warhammer pieces will be saved... 
around here if you need oh, them. Oh, I see. That's how it works. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay. And they also have there... like, uh, uh, marbles and things like that you can use for Look the this. board. Oh, that's cool, dude. Dice. Look at this. I want to show, show you guys something really insane. One thing oh. that's kind of interesting is that's like that RPG kit. So could you map out like you're doing a, a, a dungeon crawl? Can you map it out with this? Yes. Yeah, you can do D&D &D with this, but there are better things to do D&D &D with if we're totally okay. honest. There's even D&D &D online, isn't there? Like a... Oh, oh yeah, but online. as far as playing D and D itself, you have uh, foregrounds. No, no, no I, not foregrounds. No, I mean it's it's D and D. It's like a, it's in a web ah. type deal. No, I played the the MMORPG. And that that was a ghost town when I tried it. So hey, Lorenzo, so here, back hey, one so. more time. So yeah, no, that's a good point, uh, uh, Beowulf. Uh, as far as building uh, <clears throat> building Warhammer uh, teams, as long as you have all the miniatures and stuff and dice and such, you can just uh, build it, and it's a lot cheaper than doing it in real life because everyone who's into Warhammer knows how much that costs to be competitive. It's a very expensive game. <clears throat> it seems like uh, Booster is having a lot of difficulties today, uh, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully he'll work that out. Uh, but the point I think we're trying to make here is uh, this Tabletop Simulator, this is a really cool thing. Uh, especially for us, you know, and uh, our nerdum, nerddom, um, we can enjoy a lot of things here. And I think what we're going to do now is, uh, uh, how many people on here actually have tabletop right now? Uh, Booster, I, Thundero, anybody else? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -mm. Nope. No, just us three. Uh, maybe uh, because I I don't have uh, enough time to do Lords of Waterdeep today, uh, but maybe we could do a, like a much smaller, shorter game. So, uh, Booster, when you get yourself back on Tabletop uh, Simulator, if you could please um, uh, bring up Biblios. Booster? Boy, he's having a lot of trouble today, huh? I wonder why. guess New Zealand mm. did fall into the ocean. Uh-oh. It's going to happen one day. You know it is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Booster. how about you, uh, Todd? Uh, what games do you play with your kids? Uh, traditional board games, but uh, we play a lot of Scrabble. Scrabble? Yeah, that's a great game. I love Scrabble. I use that in my schools uh, quite a bit. Not, not only just to play traditionally, just using the little uh, letter tiles. It's really useful in an English school. How about you, Thundar? Do you play games with your kids? I don't have any kids, so no. But I, um, not much with my wife, unfortunately. She doesn't really like board games. She's not a big fan of them. But I do love board games. I just don't, I haven't had many people to play with for the last oh, six years of my life. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons I like this tabletop simulator because we can play games. Because I, I did the same thing, right? I used to play with my kids all the time, <clears throat> but now they're going mm -hmm. to university. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's just my wife and I. Uh, so we don't play, especially the bigger games, we don't play them at all anymore. Uh, I joined says you got it yesterday, so we can join if you want. Sure, dude. We'll have you join in when Booster figures out what he's doing. Uh, John Dealer says, uh, Chester, I ain't ready to go over the Indiegogo yet. I need some uh, more time. Uh, all right, dude. But we do need to work on that, so you just let me know when you're ready. Um, and we'll jump over there and uh, jump streams and help you out, okay? Uh, but uh, <clears throat> as far as that, there's... a uh, there is a, there are a few games that are really easy to pick up and cheap, uh, like Splendor, uh, Majesty, Biblios, uh, any of the epic games. Uh, these are really easy to learn and play with anyone, anywhere. And they're small. You can almost literally put them in a pocket and just carry them anywhere you want to go. But uh, <clears throat> I know we also talked a little bit about here in Japan, there are now currently 300 board game cafes in Japan. It's becoming a thing, which is cool. Uh, because the Japanese are traditionally card gamers, right? Uh, but the board games mm -hmm. are starting to make an insurgent here, and that is really awesome. Uh, but, uh, of course, a board, board game cafe started over in, in America, uh, and they spread all over the world. Have any of you guys ever been to a board game cafe? I have not. No. Nope. There he is. The wee burb. <laughs> no, there's no board game cafes anywhere yeah. in the state. I saw them at Denver. They're like board games slash Magic the Gathering coffee shops, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and they'd have like a small graphic novel section. And that's kind of what the comic book store started turning into at, around Denver. 
Well, you do have some big ones up in Canada, for instance, like Snake and Lattes, and uh, it's a chain, and they have uh, <clears throat> literally walls of board games. And they have a staff that knows the game and can help you uh, at the table. But you pay a certain amount of money. They have some simple little finger food and coffee and stuff like that. And you can sit uh, with your friends for hours and just sit there and play games. Um, it's a great idea. It's a great uh, uh, model, I think. <clears throat> so, Very Booster, we're kind of waiting on you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we uh, share screen more stuff. Uh, yes, dude. Uh, yep. I, I, have you lost your brain today? Is there a problem? <laughs> Do we need to send medicine uh, uh, or helicopters or something uh, like that? I was just I was getting he's my lunch. A, he's having a heat stroke from his walk today. <laughs> All right, go get bring we, uh, Biblios, please. Biblios. Biblios. How do we spell Biblios? Just like it sounds. Yeah. Exactly how it sounds. Let's see how he spells it. Don't tell. Ah, oh, I wanted to see how he spelled it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's habit. Uh, are you sure? Bib Biblios? Bib. Biblios. L-I-O-S. And uh, I, Jordan. L-I-O-S. Biblios. Oh, Biblios. Um, now, uh, Jordan, go ahead and get on your tabletop simulator and just come into the uh, Tittles channel. And uh, the password is Tittles1. Oh, my God. I just said I just put it out. Okay. Doxed. Doxed. Straight oh doxed. Oh my, I'm going to get hacked so much. My God. <laughs> yeah. And, so is this, uh, this Biblios? Yeah, Biblios. We're going to play this game. Uh, Beowulf says, sounds yeah. like a great way to get people to human again uh, in this tech-centered world. Mm -hmm. John Diller says, I have a game store that uh, that's uh, free, but first come, first serve. But you must order drinks. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Uh, Biblios. Yeah, no, I Jordan, just uh, join Tittles, uh, the password is Tittles1, and get on here and choose a seat, and we will play this game. So, Thunder, you're on here as well, right? I'm in. I am in here at the moment. All right, well, there you go. We got myself, we got Thunder, 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 Thunder Stick, huh? Thunder Stick. Okay, you know, the thing that's coming to my mind is Thunderstruck by ACDC. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Angus on the guitar. <laughs> that dude is such awesome. Are you coming, George? I saw, a really good, I saw a really good video where a guy had like a, a sneaker in his washing machine, so it played the beat to that song, and he did all the Angus solo on his guitar. Sweet. You got to see that, man. That's hilarious. Now that dude has got one of the, the one of the most stamina I've ever seen of any uh, guitarist. It's ridiculous. If you ever seen ACDC live, you know what I mean. That dude yeah. will sit at the end of the uh, on the end of the stage and just solo like for like freaking twenty minutes, just going crazy, sweat just flying off him. And my God, Angus Young, dude, unbelievable player. Um, waiting for you, George. He's here. What's going? Is he? I don't. Oh, I see he him. But he hasn't. I got to choose your spot. Take your purple spot, please. You are purple. You must choose your spot, Jordan. All right. Uh, but Booster, seeing as Jordan's here, that? I'm going to go. How do you just shuffle it like that? You just hit R. Yeah, just oh, hit R. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to explain this game real quick, and it's a super, super simple game. And I'm going to explain by going for it first. Now, actually, in this game, it doesn't come with something you actually need, and it's a perfect opportunity for Booster to once again demonstrate. Uh, Booster, could you go up to your area and bring down a piece? It doesn't matter. The cooler, <clears throat> just I need a piece of something, an object. Um, it could be anything. Uh, the coolest thing possible. Don't take any cards, Booster, or don't touch it. No touching. Bad. Just a play piece. I I'm think slapping you your hand. Slap, slap, slap. Go get me a play <laughs> piece or some kind of piece, Booster, please. Where are the play make pieces? One. Create one. Um, make it. Create one. You, you said you can make objects. Please go get oh. me an object. The oh game doesn't God. come with it. Oh, fine. I'll get you a woman. <laughs> I oh, that was really that nice. was something more for you, but you know, nevertheless. Um, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. There you go. Okay, we got a piece. Now I'm going to take this piece. Oh goodness, I got. What am I doing? I'm being silly. Uh, I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to go first to demonstrate how to play the game. So I am first. All right. Uh, mm, now he's the king. this game is very, very. I am the king. You're right. Are you stop touching it, Jordan? I'll slap you too. <laughs> okay. Now um, this game is really, really simple. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to collect sets of colors. Now, uh, the theme of this game is a bunch of monks making parchments and their, you know, whatever. Uh, but the, it just comes down to color. We got brown, blue, green, orange, and red. All right. And as we're collecting these cards <clears throat> and these colors, at the end of the game, whoever has the most brown gets the brown dice, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
right? And during the game, we're going to get these little pieces, uh, these little cards that have plus one or, or minus one or something like that. And we'll be able to adjust these dice as we go. All right. But in the end, we're trying to have the whoever has the most brown gets this dice, most blue gets this dice, etc., etc., etc. So now, how do you get the cards? Very simple. We don't need any of these other miniatures. Get rid of them, please. I swear, it's like I'm with a bunch of children. Yeah, booster. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Fun dark uh, in the back. <laughs> I tried to throw it off the table. I didn't know that was there. No, just respawn back to me, you idiot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I do apologize, people, uh, but this is what you have to deal with. All right, now, this is what the game does. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to go over here. Now, we have four people playing, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose five cards, okay? But um, it's it's uh, who it, it's not. Don't do it now. Please bring that back. We need that. Stop touching stuff, Jordan. I swear to God. All right. It's like <laughs> I'm driving cross-country with children. What is going on? It was it was Fundaro. It was Fundaro, Mr. Chess Senpai. It definitely was not me that moved no, that over there. No, it's got a purple it hand, and purple is Jordan. All right, anyway. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, now, uh, the, the only thing, I'm going to draw four or five cards, uh, but I have to do it one at a time, and I have to make a decision. And that decision is very, very simple. I'm either going to keep it, I'm going to, to put it to the auction pile, which you see here on the left-hand side, or I'm going to put it over here to the share pile, right? So there's five cards coming, one to me, one to auction, and three are going to be over here. But I have to draw one at a time and make that decision as I go. Uh, it's kind of interesting uh, mechanic. Um, but uh, what I'm looking for, of course, high color cards are cool. I want to keep those if I can. Uh, money, we need money to buy things in the auction at the end of the round. Um, uh, minus, plus and minuses can be helpful too. Uh, but it, it's really pretty, really simple. It's easier just to play it to understand it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one card. Okay. And I'm looking at that card and I'm going to make a decision what I want to do with it. Now I could put that up in the auction and try to get it later, or I could just take that and I could put it over here, which is not supposed to show it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop it over here. All right. Let me draw another one. Hmm. I'll put this over here, and then uh, another one. I'm definitely going to put this one over here, and two more, right? Oh, goodness gracious, don't do that. Okay, all right. Here we go. Hmm. Well, I'm going to, it's kind of a useless thing to do, but I'm just going to put it in the auction pile. It's it's an unfortunate choice. And then I'm going to choose my last one, which I have to keep this one, right? So I'm keeping it. So next, now uh, you do this, it goes to my left, of course, so Jordan's next. Now all you do, Jordan, uh, oh, sorry, first, uh, Jordan, choose one of these three and take it in your hand. See these three over here? Choose one, take it. Take one, Jordan. Jordan. Uh, he isn't actually in the hangout. No, but he should be listening to us, so he might have a few second delay. I yeah. see. Uh, Jordan, I think he has about a 15 second delay, just this, so you'll have to give long? the full kid. All right, so someone give, uh, give Jordan a link and get him into the uh, uh, mm. in here with us if you can, please. Yes. But Jordan, take take one of these, Jordan. Take one. Go, go. <laughs> do it, Jordan. Booster, take one of the uh, and add it to your hand, uh, Jordan. <laughs> go ahead, Booster. Take He's one. Trying. Well, I'll take this one. All right, go ahead. <laughs> and Thunder, I'll take the last. Now, at this moment, <laughs> if you're stuck with any uh, any plus or minus cards, you would play it right now, but none of you guys are. All right, so now we're going to move over to Jordan. Have we gotten uh, Jordan into the chat here yet with us? I've, uh, I have sent him a link. It, uh, he has yet to figure it out, it seems. Okay, can... Uh, <laughs> Jordan, if you're paying attention, dude, get, uh, take that link and come in here with us. Um, but uh, it, it, it <laughs> all right, sounds... that's I'm going to bow out. All right, later, Tanelli. Um, it's actually very easy to do. You just have to make a decision because we're trying to collect the much of, as much of, a co of the colors as we can. So when you're choosing one by one, you're making a decision. Is this a big enough one for me to keep? Uh, is it uh, is it mid-size, so therefore I'll put it in the auction and try to get it later if I have money? Or is it just something I'm throwing away to the, the other people at the table? Those are the only decisions you're trying to make. And as uh, as we play here, you guys will get it. It's a really easy game, fun game. This is a super tight mechanic, uh, wonderful game. And as long as I could get Jordan in here to start paying attention. and uh, no, let's go. Are you in here, Jordan? 
Yep. All right, good, good, Jordan. What I want you to do is go over the deck, choose one card. No, one. Just uh, hit what? Just oh. hover over and hit the number one. Yeah. Just hover and hit one. Yeah. Yeah, one on the keyboard, uh, and that'll. Uh... There you go. Now there look at go. that card. Now okay. understand the other card you have is already done. It's you can't touch that. The card you just got, you have to make a decision. You either got to keep it, you got to put it in the auction pile, or you got to throw it away over here in these three spots. And remember, you're trying to collect colors, right? So, and the and the highest color is four for brown and blue, and the and for red, green, and orange, two is the highest color. Okay. So make a decision. You're gonna keep it. You're gonna put it in the auction, or you're gonna put it in the share. Um. No, not not the one from before. The one you just got, dude. We have okay. to make a decision. What do, what are you gonna do with it? Put an auction. Okay, now this is, now hold on a second, uh, this is money. Now to get money, we have to use colors to get it. So usually we don't put money in the auction. You can, but that's uh, probably something you don't want to do. You either want to keep that in your hand or you want to throw it to someone else. I'll Would be my else. suggestion. Okay, then flip it over, uh, hit the, yeah, no, no, it. don't do Just... like that. No, don't do like that. Put See these three spots here in the middle of the board? Put it on there, right? And hit the F button, hover okay. over and hit the F button. There you go. All right, now uh, draw another card, do the same thing. Hover over and hit one. Okay? With the card you just got, make a decision. Are you going to keep it, you got to share it, or are you going to put it in an auction? Auction, you want to put stuff in auction as things that maybe it's not as high enough to get as you would hope. Hit the F button. Um, all right, cool. All right, so go ahead and draw another card. All right. Make the same decision. Either put it over here, auction, or keep it. All right. Flip it over. Okay. And uh, draw one more. Okay. Now you can either put it in the share or you can keep it. Auction is done. Okay. And then draw the last one and keep it. Okay. Now, unless okay. that car is a card is a plus or minus one card, is it a plus or minus one card? Minus one. It is a minus one. Okay. Take that and put it on the table yep. so we can all see it. There you go. Uh, now, what this is is it is minus one to two dice. So come over to these dice and choose um, uh, choose one of uh, two of them to be minus one. And just like so, it'll go from a three to a two. Right. So just pick it up and rotate it. How do we rotate? You can, actually, you can actually just hit the uh, numbers on the uh, keyboard to make it what number you want to be. So you can just hit two and it'll go to two. Oh, okay. See that? And so you chose blue. Now choose another one, uh, uh, Jordan. No, no. Hit two, 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 two. Hit the number two. There you go. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Uh, so you are done. So uh, first over here, Booster, you see these three cards? Take one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, this one, shall we? All right. And I will take the last one. All right. I have no negatives or plus on any of these, so I just well, I just keep them. Yep, you just keep them. And no one, uh, uh, right. uh, I don't think Thundara has any name, a plus or minuses either. So then we're Correct. just going to move on. So now, Booster, do the same thing. Go over here and take one card. Yep. yep. Make a decision. Either and... keep it, auction, or share. What's the best decision to make depending on the card? Is it best to keep uh, cards with just numbers and no pluses or minuses, or is it best well, to uh, well, if it's a high, card? if it's a high number color, keep it. Obviously, um, if it's a, yep. like a one or a, or if it's a two with uh, blue or brown, I would might put it in the auction. Um, and money is if do you need money? We need money for the auction. We're going to get to that here as soon as Thundaro is done. Um, and right. a plus or minus, it depends. If you're in a situation where you think uh, you want to adjust it right now, keep it. Usually those things get thrown out, yep. but um, it, it's up to you. Ooh, I want to keep that one. Uh, and so if I want to keep one, I, do I have to throw away the next one? Or can no, I also no, keep this one? Net, no, you got to choose again. You still have to put one in the share and you have to put one in auction. I don't think you put one in the auction yet. All right. Cool. There we go. So did you put I one in the auction yet? Not yet. So put one in the put this one in the auction. 
Okay. But you should look Ooh. at them and try to remember them. No, no, the one you just draw. You can't mm -hmm. choose another one. The All one right. that okay. just drawn. Okay. So good. So uh, Thunder, I'll take one of these cards, please. Oh, whoops. My bad. Well, I'll just keep that one for now. Um, I'll take the middle one again. Okay. I'll take this. And Jordan, take the last one, please. This this game is if miserable you, for this very colorblind person. <laughs> if you accidentally oh, wow. picked up one you shouldn't, uh, if you accidentally put up, uh, picked up one you shouldn't, uh, you can just put it in the dick and shuffle it, shouldn't you? Yeah, no, it's okay. He picked uh, one, but he can make a decision what to do with it. It's fine. So yeah, there's if, one. That's one I was gonna pick anyway. All right. Okay. Oh, dang it! Just hit the number one, dude. I know. Um. Well, this game is called Baby Lewis, everybody, and uh, this is a great fun game. That's fine, dude. You haven't kept one yet, right? I kept, yeah, I, no, I did not. Not yeah, yet, okay. It's probably better to flip it before you pick it up, actually. You can flip it in your hand, you know. Oh, and then yeah. last one you keep. All right. Oh, it's a minus one. All right. Well, then it's yours, so you go first. So go ahead and uh, let me look at this. This is a minus one to one dice. Go ahead and do that. To any dice I want? Yep. Uh, we're gonna do Obviously, right. you want the, the ones where you have the, the color of to be higher, not lower, right? Right. All right. So there we go. Uh, then to come over here and pick, mm, I'll check this one. Go ahead, Jordan, to check one of the cards there. All right. I, I guess have I'm a, stuck with this one. I have a plus one here. Uh, this is a plus one to one. Mm, I will do over here. Uh, Jordan, did you pick up a plus or minus card? A minus one. So play it. Oh, wait. I mean one. No, it's was just it, a one card. Was it? A, oh, so it's a not a it's not a plus or a minus. Okay. And right. uh, booster, did you get one? No. Nah. Okay. Good. Now this is what we do. We're done with that round and uh, uh, with the play round. Now we're going to go into the auction. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the uh, top card here and we're going to flip it over. Now this is a money card. So in order to get this money card, uh, you have to play color cards. All right. Now, keep in mind that at the end of the game, we want color cards because that's what's going to let us get the dice and therefore let us win. Um, but uh, this is a three, though. This is the highest uh, money that you can get. Um, if you don't have any money and you have a, a one sitting around in a color, you might want to uh, auction on this. But um, usually uh, money in the auction doesn't get it just gets thrown away. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, um, I am the start guy. So that means that Jordan is going to make the auction uh, start the auction. So uh, if you want this uh, three money, Jordan, you have to bid. Keep in mind, you have to use yeah. color, not money, not coins. So and the highest number the wins, I'm assuming, yes? Right. And, or you can just, uh, uh, well, the, we're, we're bidding. It's like an auction. It's literally bidding, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, so, Jordan, uh, either make a bid or pass. I'll pass. Okay. Uh, booster? All right. Well, can I just put down something like this? Don't put anything down. Just speak. Oh. All right. Well, I have a one. red one. Well, and you what shouldn't do I just say, say I that. Bid. You should just bid one. Oh, well, I shouldn't say. I yes. bid okay. one. Okay. Thund Thundero? I pass. Or pass. I pass as well. So, Booster, pay your one into the discard, which I put over over here. And, uh, and I can bid this. Yeah. That's fine. Put it over here in the discard. It's garbage now. And, it's and now take mine. that and put it in your hand. Yep. I have money. I'm, I'm going to be so rich, you guys. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon okay. squeezy. Put this over here, and we'll do the next auction. And uh, this right here is a brown three. That's pretty nice. The highest brown number is four. So, this time we're going to start with Booster. You're going to make a bid, Booster. This is a straight bid. I... I bid also. What would you like to bid? Yes. Two. <laughs> now, Thunder, you have to bid above that. It's an auction, right? I pass. I pass. Jordan? I pass. Okay, so Booster, oh, pay your, your two. Boy. No, 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 Booster. This is coin, Booster. Oh. Coin. This is coin? Coin. Oh, well, uh, I don't have... Oh, shoot. I'm so <laughs> useless. Well, I have a free I can pay. It. Yep. So it's it's Shogunai. I mean, I'm sorry. Too bad. You have to just uh, use it and yeah. take that card. That's yours. All right. Moving on. <laughs> that uh, works. 
Well, it that it sometimes that happens where you, you but it is what it is. So to buy the to buy the the actual cards with the colors you have to use coin. To buy the other ones you have to to buy coin you have to use cards. Is that what's that's right. That's right. This is a orange, orange one. Uh the bid starts with Thundero this time. I would like mm, let's see, what do I like? I'm gonna pass. Okay, I pass as well. Jordan. Um, so can I bid with money? Yes, you yep. need money, yeah. Okay. So I'll just No, don't don't do don't anything. Show it, don't just show it, say don't show it. Just, just say it. it. Just say the amount. Um two um gold. But don't okay, just two. Oh, two gold. Okay. Uh booster? Three or I one. will pass this okay. time. So Jordan, it's your card, so go ahead and take your two coin and put it in the garbage over here, the discard. There you go. Over here? Right here. No, you see right, right here. here it's the discard. See it? Right here. Right here. All right. Okay. Here you go. Take your okay. card. And then our last one, which I'll just flip it in space, in place here. Uh, <laughs> this is money, and it's a one. No uh, one's going to waste any color on that. So done. That's obviously yeah. Done. Yeah. The, the, don't don't ever know, bid on a one. On huh? <laughs> okay. How <did> you know? <laughs> no, you don't want to bid on that. You, want, waste, you don't want waste. one. You don't want one gold. It's pointless. For a color? <laughs> no way. Because we need yeah. colors at the end to win the game, right, guys? Uh, so anyway, that's it. There's a whole round just done. Now, usually this goes super fast. This is a very fast game, all right? Uh, but you got, you know, you guys are just learning it. Uh, but uh, So we're going to do the same thing. But this time, now Jordan is the king. And Jordan is going to start. We're going to go around the Jordan board just the like king. we did last time. So go ahead, Jordan. You start. Okay. So same thing. One card, Jordan. And make your decision. Just remember that you have to play... The card you draw. You can't take something else from your hand. So you can I keep this one? Of course you can. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'll but, keep it. But then you can't keep any more, right? That's, our, that's right. One. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You can only keep yeah. one. So go ahead, Jordan. So now take you your next going. card. Now you have to either put that in the auction or put it into the share. Yeah, flip it. Yeah, flip, flip it first, Jordan. Yeah, flip it in your now hand. now everyone's off of that one. Yeah, flip it in your hand, okay? Uh, so go ahead, Jordan. Take another card. All right. Sometimes the press of one's a little buggy, too, so don't spam it. Just give it a second. Okay. Or else you'll get I'll, a whole bunch. I'll put this in auction. Okay. Got to fl flip it you first. Flip it in your hand, you Jordan. Flip it in your hand okay. before right. you draw it out. I'm just not and looking. I just, saw <laughs> just you put sure money, I just saw you put money in the auction. That is, You can do that, but it's usually a waste of time, just so you know. Anyway, draw another okay. card, and both of these are just take draw them. Go ahead, draw one. All right, look at yep. it and immediately put it in the share. Real quick, okay? You got to flip it in your hand, dude. Oh, sorry, All I right. keep forgetting. Draw one more. Draw one more, and just put it right over there. No, he should look at it. I mean, if he has the memory, it, it, it comes in the strategy, and then uh, flip it, and there you go. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, booster, take one of these. Take one of these cards. Well, I could just cheat and get that one, but it feels like cheating, so I'll just... I'm, I'm in cheat. I'm in right, cheat. I'll take this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, same thing, Booster. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. There you go. You got it. And now, now it's starting to flow. All right. Yeah, you see, it's a quick game, man. Ooh, I keep this. Okay. Now, just because these two are going away doesn't mean you shouldn't pay attention to what they are. Because now you know what people potentially have in their hand, right? Yep. Exactly. Right, I, no, I no, am no, no thunder. Looking. Don't do that. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah. I always forget. Up, uh, up, uh, uh, Shuffle it. Right. Yeah, just shuffle it. Take Fine. one. Take Just take one. Uh, I'll take this one. Go ahead, uh, Jordan. Take the last one. There you go. Okay. Now I get my card. Yeah. Uh... What the hell is that? Okay, so when you get the plus and minus, you drop it right away. It. Don't say anything. Okay. Yeah, make a decision what you're going to do with it. You can't keep it. So you either put it in the share or put it in the auction. Put it in the share. Okay, and then the last one's going in the auction. Yeah. All right. So I will choose one. I'll take this one. Go ahead, Jordan. Take a card. Uh, one of you guys got a plus and minus, I think. So play that, please. I did. I got a plus. 
All right, so this is a right. uh, plus one to two dice booster. A plus one to two dice. Oh, all right. I will use my big brain for this. Well, all right, I'm going to have one more on you. Okay. And I'll... Uh, one more on you. Okay. So that's done. Moving over to, uh, let's see, Thunder Dogs. So it's my turn. Okay. So let's see. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it's my turn. All right. So let me get to it. So a three in this context, uh, well, that's essentially a zero, isn't it? Or is that just the default number we start with? What are you talking about? Yeah, no, it starts to default as three. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Ooh, that sucks. Sucks for somebody. Or, you know, just keep in mind, I could be lying, you know. <laughs> no, seriously, it's part of the game. All right, Ooh. so, uh, Jordan, you choose first. Do I do a No, a don't dice? touch anything. Don't touch anything. Come From over here. here and take a card. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Now, does anyone have any plus or minus cards? Mm -hmm. No one has? Nope. All right, good. So we'll come over here to the auction, and yeah. uh, we will start. Right. All right. So I think you should a... uh, be really selling these just this is an auction. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Bitter, bitter, bitter. Uh, so this is, of course, Jordan has the king, so it starts to his left. So, uh, Booster, this is a red one. Make your bid. Start your bid. I will bid nothing. I pass. Hi. Rubbish. Thundero? I pass. I'll, I'll bid one. I bid two. I bid three. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he really wants oh, it. Crap. Get a bidding war. Uh, okay, I bid two more. Well, then what? say say the number. We're up to three. <laughs> so you I want four? four? Is that what you're saying? So you, you bid, bid four? five? Is that what you're saying? Four, wasn't it? Four? Okay, I pass. Go he ahead. He needs yours. two more from his. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, so go ahead and pay four over here to the discard, please. Okay, and handle. then take your card. No, no, take your card. There you go. Uh, okay. Next one is a, a blue three. Ooh, ooh that's a nice. Oh, we have a lovely blue three Thunder, today. Are you My starting goodness. this one. Go ahead. I pass. I bid. Uh, I bid three. Hmm. Jordan. I bid four. Uh, Jordan pass. So it's it's all I pass. It's all yours, dude. Pay four over here to discard. Oh, all right. Lovely. Lovely. All right. I don't know what to do with any of these, but I'm collecting freeze. Oh, well, no, you're <laughs> collecting blue, is what you're doing. Oh, uh, blue two. Another blue. Uh, this one starts with me, and I'm going to bid. Uh, I'll bid one. Jordan? I bid two. I bid three. Thunder? I pass. I pass as well. <laughs> Jordan, you want to bid four? I can't. All right, so pass. I'm you so shouldn't nice. say I can't because now we know you have no money. We know you're poor <laughs> now. You're a broke man, <laughs> a broken. And then there's and a, 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 a two money, yeah. which Jordan, you, your bid starts with you, dude. And this time it's not okay. with money; it's with your other cards. It's color, yeah, it's color. Yeah, yeah, you have to play cards, Jordan. Okay, I play one. I bid one. Really? Okay, one. booster. Two. Whoa. Really? Well, I pass. You guys can have that. So code. I pass. Why would you be wasting <laughs> color on money? I don't get this. But it's right. Booster pay two color to the uh, garbage. Well, I'm sorry. Unless Jordan wants to pay three, which it would be insane. Okay. Right. <laughs> no. All pass. right. So, uh, all right. Fine. Uh, uh, so me money. Now, does anyone have pluses or minuses at all that need to be played? Nope. All right. Well, here you go, Booster. You are king now. Same thing. I am the king. I am the last one. Oh, yuck. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's really great, you guys. <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, I may just keep that. Yeah, keep that. Oh, one. Nah. I can't tell if these two are different colors, so I'm just gonna hope. I'm just gonna say they are. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep help that. You end, dude. Oh crap! No, I want to keep that one. You can't though. Yeah. 
All right. All right, Thunder. How about it, boys? I want this one. I'll take this one. So what we should be doing is uh, putting ones we potentially want in the auction pile, huh? Because we have another go at it. I think, yeah. I think I said that three times, actually. Uh, Thunder, go Yeah, ahead. well, I'm paying attention now, Chester. Oh, I see. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to have to run. Oh, will catch up with you all, all right, later. Yeah. Oh, no, no problem. Uh, we're Get gonna out of over John's channel anyway soon. So, uh, but, uh, Thanks right, for coming, Bill. I appreciate it. Yep, we'll catch you later. Thanks. Later, dude. That rubbish can go right here. That rubbish can go right here. Oh my! Oh my God, Fandara, you're, you're worse with the flipping than Jordan. I know. Ooh, <laughs> ooh! I am gonna ruin somebody's day here. I'm gonna put that in the old auction. And one How many more have I done? That's four. Yeah, one more. Yeah. One more base. Oh, and that's beautiful. That's a beauty. Somebody's gonna want that one. Okay, well I oh. choose first, and I'm not falling for that. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> Oh, this one was a beauty, did he say? Go ahead, Jordan. I did. There you go. Oh, I I got a plus uh, here. I got a plus card, so let me uh, so, play that. Me and, too. Uh, um, I wasn't lying. I told you that was a beauty. You're trying to double bluff us. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, this is a plus one, and I will play that. Um, I will play that here. So. Okay. Is Anybody that, else have that, plus round? or minus? Anybody Red? else have? I do. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I see. So we're trying to minus uh the ones you the opponents you are clearly trying to you go would for. Think you you right. yeah, if you can. Yeah. Right. Oh, now, oh keep did in I, mind, mine was a minus, wasn't it? Now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before what do you, before plus you and a minus. Anything, this is a plus or a minus to uh, one yes. dice. Your choice. Yes. All right. So I already plus this one. Okay. So done. Uh, Thunder, you have any pluses or minuses? No. I do not. All right, cool. So uh, he is done. Then it's my turn. So let me see here. Now, now Chester, I'm going to ask a uh, question that may potentially enrage you because you probably already answered this, but what is the uh, objective with the dice and what, how is it related to the cards we have? Um, well, at the end, whoever has mm -hmm. the most brown cards will get the brown dice. Whoever yes. has the most blue, right. et cetera, et cetera. So in the end, and whoever has the most count. dice on the whoever has the most points on the dice wins. I see. Yeah. All right. What if there's a tie? Uh, then we go into how much money you have in your hand. <laughs> then we play paper yeah. scissors rock. <laughs> 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 we can just flip a coin. I can spawn a coin if you like. Cool. Um, yeah, hmm. no, there are several ways to win actually uh, uh, with ties and stuff, but it's very rare. Oh, it very rarely happens. Uh oh, he doesn't want to put that one there. Nope. Go ahead, Jordan. Your <laughs> choice, dude. Oh, uh, when does the game end? Um, it, you, this deck is perfectly Jeez. timed. Uh, when the uh, you'll see. Uh, thun, uh, hold on a second. Don't do, don't touch anything. Hi, don't touch. Uh, I was I was just I was just second. looking, Chester. Don't freak your tits out. Anybody have pluses or minuses? Negative. I don't. Jordan, go. The deck is the clock, actually. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. You're lucky to know he's not here. He'd be yelling at you and saying ding, ding, and such. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. Go on. Keep going, mm -hmm. Jordan. That last one, right here. Did you keep one? He did. Yeah. His first one he drew, he kept. All right. Go ahead, booster. Take one. All right. All right. Very good. Hmm. Any pluses or minuses? Any? Yeah. There you go. Pluses or minuses? Anybody? Nope. Nope. Negatory. Right. So, first auction. 
And this one is Thundara starts this one. And this is a green one. <clears throat> Go ahead, Thundara. I pass. I bid one. You need money for two. this. Two. Booster? I pass arena. I pass. Go ahead, Jordan. Pay your shoot. Take it. <laughs> He's just trying to bait money out of poor people. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, He's like me. a bank. <laughs> That's part it's of the yes, game, dude. Uh, all right. This one is uh, orange, too. And this starts with... We have a lovely orange, too. If you're collecting oranges, you may want to bid on this one. What yes, do you got, Fundaro? Let's see. I will bid one. It's me no. first. Chester, once Chester. Jordan. I bid two. Okay. He bids two. Jordan bids two. I pass. Spandaro. I pass. I pass. Chester, do you raise? Jordan. I bid three. Oh, Ooh. Chester really wants that orange. I pass. Okay. And the orange goes to Chester. Thank you for just throwing that into my hand. I appreciate that. I threw it at you. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that beauty. Look at that. Woo! Get excited, boys. I am excited. Uh, Jordan, you start the bid, dude. I bid three. Four. Five. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Six. Uh, all I can do is match his bid, so it's so all his. Booster wins. <laughs> six into the pile, dude. I really That's wanted that one. Rolls. Darn it, I wanted that one. That's why I put it there. <laughs> I, I expect too. everybody else to have that much gold. I've been hoarding I'm a rich it over boy. here. And last one here. Uh, which booster you start Pass. with here? Pass. Pass. I bid one. I bid two. Well, have why it I then. Boosters poor? Have it then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh Booster's God. a poor boy. All right, here we go. Nobody and loves him. Booz, uh, and Thundero, you, you are now king, and this will be the last round. We all four will do our uh, our thing, and it'll be it. Hang on. I'm thinking. Okay. Nope. I've been told that's a dangerous thing to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good Three... Ooh. Uh... Gary says, are you playing oh, the Land card game? No. Uh, but uh, actually, basing <laughs> theming one off a similar mechanic might, be good, might be a good idea. Well, And I we could probably even good. import it onto this game sometime, just if we wanted to. If we wanted one, to whatever it is. It, oh, if we wanted to show it off on stream. Of course yeah. that's what it is. I take this one. Go Can't. ahead, Jordan, take a card. <laughs> we could do that. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, my turn, huh? Yep. Wait, you didn't ask if there's pluses or minuses. Uh, are there? Are there any pluses or minuses? No, not for me. No. Hmm. Wouldn't the person who dealt this out know? Yes, and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> so should you only go for one color, or should you go for as many colors as you can? Uh, obviously, role. you want to at least uh, uh, try to focus on at least two. Yeah. Mm. Very interesting draw I'm getting over here. Wow. God, this sucks. All right, this is not. I'm not having a good game at all. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead, Jordan. Take a card. Booster. A kiwi. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, play your minus. plus or minus, whoever got it. Okay. Put Can it on I the guard. The no, put it on the discard. Just put it on top of the discard. Okay. All right. And that's a plus one to two dice, Jordan. A plus one to two dice. All right. So two on the blue one? Uh, you so hit the, so three on that, so, so they'll turn into a three. Make it a yeah. three, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. green three. So it would be a four, All right. right? There you go. Okay. Rock on. Go ahead, uh, Jordan. Your draw. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Five cards, right? Yeah. I'll keep that one. All right. Um. <laughs> You put in the auction. Okay. You got two more to draw for over here. Oh. <laughs> All right, Booster. Take one. All right. Da -da. What booster. are you doing, what are you Booster? Doing? What? what? Here, dude. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've Thundera. my whole brain is sort of thing. Shut up. All right. I have a minus one. Okay. They put in the or Discord. Discord. Two dice. So we're going to minus one that one. <coughs> one. <coughs> and then we're going to minus one. Just this red. <coughs> that one. Oh, whoop. Ah, you crap. I'm at three. All right. Uh. And then it comes I don't know if to... I'm doing the right colors. I'm just guessing. <laughs> now, Booster, go ahead. This you're you're the last five drawer here. Hmm. Is there really no other indicator of what these? Co I think there is. Isn't there? The little uh, there is. Uh, what is in there? Uh, Red has a book, oh, and uh, they have different imagery. Yeah, imagery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can look at the imagery okay, good, and put good, the imagery good. together. Because I'm very colorblind. Are you done? <laughs> Keep that then. Oh man, that was why brutal. Is there, why are there eight cards left? This doesn't make. So much. I think screwed we screwed up, up a couple of times. Uh, I think we've... No, I think we just forgot to take off the top. Uh, that's all right. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, draw a card, please, uh, uh, Thunder. Hmm. Uh, I'll go with the middle one. I'll take this one. I'll just have you know I didn't do nothing. No, I think we were supposed to take them off the top. I just thought because it was scripted, it would do it automatically, but it's my fault. Uh, so don't worry about that. All right, but we're, we're going to do this auction, and then we're done. We're not going to worry about those other cards that are over there. Okay? Uh, so here's our first, and this is our last four cards on the auction, by the way. A green two. Hmm. So if we got money, uh, may as well spend it, This starts with huh? me, and I will bid two. Jordan? Well, I bid three. I will pass. Thundero? Pass. I will bid pass, four. Pass, pass. Oof. I pass. Okay. So let me uh, pay my dues. He apparently really wants that. Yeah. I think Chista wants the green. The green. Maybe. Uh, then our next one here. This is uh, oh, green oh. again. Uh, this uh, bid goes to Jordan starts. I pass. 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 Okay, I will pay one for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Clever. Uh, we should have uh, paid attention to that. Oh well. Okay. Uh, this is a Ooh. minus one to one. Ooh. Boost booster. Huh. Uh, free. Um. Four. Pass. 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 Four. Right. There you go, I'll Thunder. I'll throw to you. Green. <laughs> Was that just one die or two die? Uh, just the one. It's one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Interesting. Okay, and then the last auction is a brown two, and that's a start. The bid starts with you there, uh, Thunder. Um, two. Pass. So this is literally the last one, Chester. Yes, I Jordan, go four. ahead. I think he said four. Yep. Uh, ten. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if this is the last auction we're doing, I may as well. Uh, Thundero, 10 to you. I, I pass. I, I'm already yeah. passed, Jordan. I definitely I played passed. this game wrong. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Pay your 10 and, and get your card. 
color based <laughs> games are not my uh, strong suit, boys. Well, there is there is iconography on the main body of the of the card, right? All right, now this is what we do. Uh, very very simply, we're going to start here with the three. All right, so everybody put on the board in front of you all of your brown cards. Um, I don't have any. All right, I got four. I what do you got, brown. Booster? Are they, is that brown? Yes. Okay. Whoa! Oh! I thought I had this one in the bag. <laughs> Booster, how many do you have? You dude? I have eight. Uh, Fondaro has eleven. All right. Well, that's your dice. Take that oh. dice and put it in front of you. And throw your oh, cards away, please. All right. Same thing for the stay. blue here. Uh, uh, take out all your blue out of your hand and show them on the board, please. I don't have much blue. I got three. What do you got, Jordan? Six. Six. Nine. And uh, Thundero? I have four. All right. Well, that's Booster's Die. Three cards away. Green. <laughs> Read them and weep, boys. You were just trying to keep that away anyway. I have none. Well, I have one, two, three, I screwed four, up five. and accidentally... I got five. So unless Jordan has more than five. Got three. All right. So the green I accidentally is... was attacking the wrong color here. You'll yeah, see why. I'm pretty me. sure green Chista has the red. Pretty sure, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was I was sort of paying attention, not kind of. All right, then we'll put this forward here, and uh, all your orange for this rubbish one. <clears throat> I got nothing. I think. Oh, come on, game. Why one. would you do that now? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Why right. is he doing this? Oh, that's okay. We know you got it. So. Yeah, I've got it. And then I'm, last. Yeah, uh, there's more. There's more. There's more. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I have the worst cards ever. All right. And then, of course, red, which I'm not sure if I have it or not. I have uh, three, four. I have five. You ready for this? Boom. Thunder? I have none. Okay. Yeah, I so saw I... you I saw you keep upgrading this, Chester. I know. Yeah, all right. So this is what we so do. Chester wins. Yeah. Oh, we my just God. Count the dice. I have uh, eight points. Uh, Booster has three, and Thunder has four. I beat Booster again. <laughs> he did. Ah, oh, piss off. Well, anyway, well, that's I have the... two gold, so suck it. <laughs> uh, we would use that in case of a tie or something like that. Anyway, that's oh my the game. God. What do you guys think? Want to know what I think of this game, Chester? You want to know what I think? Oh, sure. boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Booster, yes. you lost to a colorblind guy in a color-based game. How do you feel right now? <laughs> <sighs> oh... Hmm. Anyway, I think, I think this game uh, flips pretty well. It does flip well. Uh, but uh, th this game, though, uh, is very easy to play. It's a very fast game. Uh, actually, it was a little long for us because, you know, you guys are learning it. But it's actually very cla very, very fa fast game. And uh, I think it's just, mechanics are beautiful. It's a, it's a perfect, uh, tight little game. It's a lot of fun. What did you think, Jordan? Do you enjoy it? Yeah. There you go. What do you think, Booster? Yeah, it's all right. I'll play it again. Thunder. It was good. I'm just colorblind. So yeah, that is a problem. That is a problem. All right. Anyway, uh, sub to Chester. Well, thank you very much. That's very nice of you, Booster. Um, he, oh, he's writing that. on the board again. Subscribe to Chester Busby and Booster Kiwi. The Thunder eats butt. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It's not very nice. How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's going to finish it up for us today. Uh, we, apolog uh, we apologize for having Booster here, um, and we appreciate <laughs> <laughs> that you all come over here and join us. Uh, we really uh, have a lot of fun with that, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the board game stuff. We'd really love to see more of you get it. We know there's a cost involved, but you know if you can get it, uh, it would be fun just for us to come on and play. This is the first game we've had. I think we had four players, huh, Booster? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. That's nice. That's nice. We need um, more. We need at least six or seven so we can do a secret Hitler session. Secret That's, Hitler would that be has fun. Been my, yeah. That has yeah. been my long term game. That, is, that has been my plan all along, Chester. <laughs> no, I hope we can. And uh, of course, Apples to Apples would be good. Uh, we could also play a Resistance, which is Got a nice uh, big party game. You know, things like that. We're not playing Bloody Monopoly. 
No, no comment, Monopoly. I believe. No, no. It's but anyway, no. we got to get no. out of here, guys, yeah. because uh, we are going to uh, go over to John Diller's channel, and we are going to um, uh, join him over there for the Tales from uh, Beyond the Gate crew. Uh, we hope you guys will come and join us for that. And um, thank you very much. That's pretty much it. Uh, so who, uh, Jordan, you're on here. So you you have to, a, a huge responsibility, Jordan. I hope you're prepared. I want you to give us the words of wisdom for the day since Danelli's gone. Um, be kind to one another and remember it's someone's best day. That is true. That's a good point. It is someone's that best was, day. I like that. that. Was gay. No, that was, I like that. Namaste. All right, guys. Namaste. Later. Thank you very much.